What is good? We're back. Tripod. We got fresh cracks. We're off and rolling. Today, we're bringing you the $100 FFPC Triflex Rotoviz Dynasty League. We're live rolling. Uh, we got live bullets in the chamber coming at you. So this is a, a two quarterback, three wide receiver, four points per touchdown pass. Tight end premium and FFPC. Um, so a lot going on here. Uh, we are in the nine hole. Uh, these are all listeners. We, we put a call out on the show. All you guys responded. We could have done a bunch of these, but we only had time to do one here. 60 second clock. So things are moving fast and furious. And and we are already on the board and, and rolling. Uh, we got picks coming at me fast and heavy here. Um, we are shooting for... Uh, potentially a wide receiver here at the one nine area. We've been hoping for CD Lamb to get to us at at that area. Justin Jefferson is off the board. There goes CD Lamb. Right? Did you say you told him to start three wide receiver? I did. Right? Yep. I did. Um, so we wanted to come out with a heavy hitter at the wide receiver position to anchor us down there because you got to start three. And you know, Jamar Chase was somebody who we suspected maybe could hang around with with kind of the the way the contracts breaking down and and and. Uh, where he might not, he might cost us a few games to start with, but we're okay with that, knowing that going in, and he he might not be startable, but eventually they'll figure it out, and Jamar Chase will be on the field, and um, probably going to be too good of an asset to pass up. Now we could go Anthony Richardson and Caleb Williams. Look, it's four points per touchdown pass, so I kind of want legs with my quarterback there. I'm mm-hmm. um, not saying it's absolutely necessary, uh, but Anthony Richardson would would most likely be a guy who who we would take a shot on there. Of course, but. We have a ton of Anthony Richardson. Knee deep in Anthony Richardson um, already. You're Burrow, on deck. Burrow's going to be there. We So coming into this, we kind of put Caleb. And Anthony Richardson off the board. And Anthony Richardson off the, the board. So we don't have to make the, uh, make the decision. Good. Um, so we got Jamar Chase. You're up. Caleb Williams. Joe Burrow. St. Brown potentially. So we're just going to put J- Jamar Chase over St. Brown or St. Brown. We are In our rankings, I probably put St. Brown over Jamar Chase. Good, you know, on being on the clock. Hard to pass on uh, Chase. So basically, are we Caleb Williams or Jamar Chase here? Um, Well, I I think coming in, the strategy we wanted to be with was was a heavy wide receiver if we could to to at least anchor this down. I would love to get Caleb Williams here. It'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, it would be. Um, So what do you think? Well, like starting three wide receivers and then two more flexes. So it waters down the quarterbacks a little bit. I think if it was six point per touchdown pass, it would be be a little bit more. It would be a little bit more leaning Burrow or Caleb. But if you're okay with it, I can click Jamar Chase here. Yeah, let's let's we'll put a stud wide receiver in our in one of our start threes. Love it. We got three picks before the turn, and then the turn comes back. So we got six picks to go up before we get to pick again. We're looking at I I can't imagine Caleb's going to go. Joe Burrow's probably going to go. And it'd be interesting to see what other there goes Burrow. Yeah. All right. So, and real quick, just to catch you guys up, because that went much faster than anticipated. We had Patrick Mahomes, Jalen Hurts, Josh Allen as the top three, then Lamar and CJ Stroud, then CD and Jefferson, then Anthony Richardson. Then we were up at Jamar Chase, Joe Burrow, Caleb Williams. Now we've we've kind of concluded that at two four, our options are probably going to be Brees, Puka, Garrett, Marv, and then quarterback wise, love Kyler Herbert seems mm-hmm. to be kind of where we've been at for the a portion of the off season. Personally, for me, if I could if I could go, I, w- I would love to get Brees Hall or Bijan here at the four. Now we've got a hammer wide receiver, a hammer running back, and then we're going to be in a bit of a position in the third spot where we're hopefully we can we're left with Dak Purdy T Law and we can grab a Dak or a Purdy there. Right. Um, and then we got to figure out the quarterback position. You can only draft 3 in the maiden in the Rotoviz Triflex here. Yeah, in this startup, every team gets three max, so that'll be 36. After the startup, you can trade for them, you can get them off waivers, what have you. We got two picks before we get back up. And, After uh, we picked, it was Joe Burrow. We took Jamar Chase. Joe Burrow went, Caleb Williams. And then on the turn, it was Marvin Harrison, St. Brown. So Uncle Wayne over there on the turn grabs two wide receivers in a row. Love that. So he's coming at you with some stud wide receivers. Now we got two more picks. Can't go wrong. Brees, Bijan, Jordan Love is on the board. We cannot go wrong. Right. We're going to get one of those three. If we're forced to make a choice between Brees and Bijan, which way you want to go? Bijan just went. We don't have to okay. take about it. We, right. I would probably take Brees. Bijan, really? Bijan's gone. And, and do you do you want 
All right, Jordan Love goes. So are you interested in Kyler here or do we and, and get a quarterback or do you want to just take Brees Hall? Because I kind of want to just take Brees. I want to take Brees too. I think we don't I think we got 50 seconds to discuss, but I think it's Brees or or uh, for me it's it's uh Brees or Garrett. Oh, Brees Jordan Love went in front of us. Yeah. Okay, so that to That's me it's I Brees. Yeah. I didn't realize that. I was going to try to make a case for taking Jordan Love and getting a quarterback out of the way because when you're on this side of the on we don't know how many quarterbacks are going to go. We get back like you said, in the third round, we're looking. We're hoping if Dak falls, we're in, we're making money. If uh, Trevor gets to us, that'd be great. And if Purdy gets to us, that'd be great. So we're looking for one of those three quarterbacks when we get back over here, and hopefully that three start three wide receiver will do it for us. But basically, taking Brees Hall here with 15 seconds left takes away. We're not drafting Kyler. We're not drafting Justin Herbert. We're not drafting Garrett Wilson. Yep. We're not drafting Jake Daniels. I'm gonna take Brees Hall now. Take him. I think uh, you know Herbert or Kyler is probably a, not a bad pick. Again, going back to the four t- point per touchdown pass, you know, and we we we've gone through this over the off season of building a team in superflex without going heavy quarterback in the first two or, yes. or and 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 it can work out really well. Now we may have to do some work in the seventh, eighth, ninth round here, of course, um, to find us the quarterback that we're gonna go with, and and um, hopefully somebody with some potentially some legs like a Bo Nix, you know, which is maybe a little risky. We have a lot of Watson, so maybe we're not going to go up that down that avenue. But, you know, maybe the risk on Levis is, is kind of worth go. it there. We shall see when we get there. In that fourth round, we'll, we'll you know, potentially have to be faced with the Tua Golf, maybe May, mm-hmm. kind of climbing the ranks a little bit for some people. There goes Jaden Daniels right off the board there. That's 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 good for me. Like I like Jaden Daniels. I think Jaden Daniels is a good pick in in sure. The he was setting, never going to make he it. He wasn't for us making anyway. it to us. Never. Um, but so let me throw this out there. For, so FFPC guys is the victory point scenario for how you get into the playoffs. And if you're in the top two teams of victory points, which is basically based off your total points every week and kind of how you square up against the league. If you win your matchup, you get a point. But if you outscore X amount of other teams in the league, you get this many points. So when you look into the FFPC, we'll drop a, pro- F- a promo code FFD. FFD, 25 um, on, at checkout for anything you want to hammer yeah, from here on anything out. Anything you want to do over there, you get a, drop the FFD promo code over there. Um, but the victory points is basically like – when we get into this, we're going to come out of here with a couple quarterbacks that are going to score points, right? Mm-hmm. And it's like we mentioned, you got to start three wide receivers. There's two more flexes and then the super flex spot. So it's a bigger lineup, no kicker, no defense. Um, but, but Brees Hall, we're scoring points at running back. Jamar Chase, we're scoring points at wide receiver. And so it's not just a weekly win or loss type league. It's not just W's right. on a weekly basis. So right. like your your total points every single week really matters. Obviously it matters in every league, but it matters more in FFPC to, to keep it balanced. So you kind of like the takes, SEC. It they're matters trying to, more. Right. It matters <laughs> more. They're trying to keep um keep keep a little bit of luck out of it. You know, you could be seven and two through nine weeks and not really be a good team. Mm-hmm. Uh, we all know how that matchup luck goes every week. So um, they're trying to govern that a little bit by the victory points situation on FFPC and it works out. So in this scenario, on this format, you need like we, we know we're going to score points. If we get Purdy and we get Levis, we're still scoring points. So we're going to score as many points as, as we could have had if we'd have taken, uh, you know, the quarterback in the first round. Probably not. But having Brees there to be projected for 17 and a half, 18 points in a game per week. You yeah. know, when Brees scores 30, like that's going to when 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 we when we stack up those points in our lineup and then we have a Jared Goff scoring 20. Right, we're, we're our victory points every week. That's how you score. I mean, don't get me wrong. When you Josh Allen scores fifty, that's great. We never had a chance to get him. We never had a chance to get right. um, the Eagles quarterback who Jalen Hurts, Jalen Hurts who scored 50, 15 rushing touchdowns last you know last right. season. If you don't have those guys, might as well be absolutely epic in the other positions. Hey guys, a quick reminder to head over to patreon.com slash the FF Dynasty to sign up for a free membership to get access to the free Discord channel. Or hit your boys with the $5 holler and get access to extra shows, mock drafts, roster reviews, and also our 2024 Rookie Draft Kit, complete with rookie rankings, ADP, and player pages. All for your pleasure. Caleb would have been fun. Caleb would have been fun. Oh, sure. Justin Herbert's got a foot coming into the season. And yeah, quite but, but honestly, I, I'm, I'm, I'm counting on Kyler to dig out, dig one of my bad teams out of a hole. Mm-hmm. So I was really leaning against Kyler just for diversification 
situation and done because I got so many teams. Yeah, to, to me, it would have been Kyler or Herbert in that spot. Herbert by midseason could be like, damn, why didn't we take him or Kyler? Oh, for sure. And I think the value you're getting on Herbert, I think it's kind of silly to not take him because he's he's easily could be a top five. And we've seen Kyler be a top five. So no doubt. those are great picks. They Jaden Daniels, Kyler, Herbert, Garrett Wilson and Jamar uh, Gibbs were the next guys off the board. I want to give a, a quick shout out to uh, Matt Kelly over at Player Profiler. Um, he just put out his app called Fast Draft. If you haven't downloaded it go grab it go check it out uh it's a little different than everything else out there we've been messing with it a good bit and they've got the origins drafts which is uh you draft six rookies only yeah it's cool man um and it's a whole lot of fun they just they just the first platform to have rookies only tournament that that just blasted past a thousand users this week Nasty. Uh, on, and they just kind of came out i've been messing around with it it's, it's great it's a lot of fun um obviously i know we're we're up against the season here promo code um, no promo code for that yet not yet um, it's but, coming but they uh They've got a, a good product out there. It's a lot of fun. It's 20 second clock. It's bang, 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 real fast, real. I know y'all have no attention span. Y'all are pining for the 10 to 20 second clock on underdog. You know, this is six rounds. You can knock one out real quick. They also have uh, the Flex 4, which is all all players. Uh, it's, it's also uh, only six rounds, and you can apply um, you know bonuses to the yeah. players however you want. So shout out to them. Make sure you go check that out. We're going to have plenty more with them kind of coming up but i wanted to put that on your radar for for matt and the guys over there who, who are doing uh some good work and, and sure. have a fun fun toy there so uh trevor lawrence goes so there's there's one bummer for us there goes puka aj and neighbors on the turn so three one neighbors all right so now we're down to hoping dak and purdy get to us um there's not a whole lot of two quarterback teams so that maybe that doesn't happen but if that doesn't happen, we adjust and we keep it moving and we figure it out a little later. That just means we're going to go get one more really good player. There goes Trey McBride. This is 1.5 tight end premium. We were hoping our, our biggest hope was 4-4 four, four, uh, to be Kincaid or Trey McBride. And that that is not looking promising uh, at the moment. So uh, TBD on, on where we'll be at. But you know the three nine other than the quarterbacks and and it might get pushed down a little bit because if if you did have all three of those quarterbacks kind of go that we were talking about we were looking at jt waddle Olave, uh drake london uh roma dunze kind of guys in that area and there goes drake london so you know off the board there goes christian mccaffrey that's just, that's a gibbs mccaffrey lamar that's a fun start for uh for team four there mm-hmm this is this is interesting. This is interesting to see how this kind of plays out. So we got out. four more guys that's going to fall off the board before we got. We're looking at Brock Purdy, Dak Prescott, Laporta, and Kincaid. Hopefully Laporta goes there somewhere, and we don't have to make that choice. We're going to get one of those four. The four, if, four players are going to go, but I don't think no, it's going to be all four of those guys. If no quarterback, if a, two, both of the quarterbacks that we might be talking about here maybe go before we go, are we is, is Kincaid the pick at, at three nine so we don't have to wait to the four four? Or do we take a JT or a Waddle or a Lave there? No, I think it's Kincaid. So you guarantee yourself the tight end, upper echelon tight end, because <laughs> there's five wide receivers that I like right here. You know, if I got stuck at four four taking Nico Collins, I'm gonna be okay with that. But if Kincaid Ta- Kincaid goes and then Waddle goes, there goes Brock Purdy. So that's a bummer. Mm. Um, so we're down to one more Goodbye, quarterback. Love. Goodbye, hey, bye, buddy. <laughs> um, so if you know, there's three players, there's three picks left. We're sitting here hoping for Dak or Kincaid. Laporta's still there. Um, I've, I, it's hard to take Kincaid over Laporta. Uh, tight end premium. Kincaid probably catches more passes. Laporta has more usage at the goal line situation. So I, I you know, I, I dare say Kincaid. Or one of those two guys could make it back to us, but I don't think either one. Neither one of these guys that passed us so when you're on a when you're close to a turn like this there goes Dak there's only there's three Man. teams there's six picks but only three teams none of those guys have a tight end yet um so and then they've seen tight ends go right here in front of them being with um uh McBride being off the board already all right so we're uh we're we're readjusting here there we don't want to or golf here or do you want to take golf here or do we wait and see if golf comes back at the four four there goes Laporta that's nice so let's if this is Kincaid it's a bit of a bummer for us yeah, Kincaid um, right here would be a shot in, in the chest. I'm not going to lie. Just reload it back up with JT right here, and then we're out on the on the running backs for a while. I don't want to. I'd rather take a wide receiver. I think if Jonathan Taylor is sitting here looking mm. at us, I'm taking. I'd, I'd I'd go JT there. I think over over Waddle and Olave. 
This is interesting. This is this is the this old. Is this is the nail biter pick. Pivotal, right here. pivotal here on on pins and needles. Don't be Kincaid. Three eight. Anybody but Kincaid. anybody but Kincaid. Tyree Kill. Yes, that would have been a nice. That would have been a great. That would have been, <laughs> been, been a great pick. I had him in the in the holster the down board. here. I had All him right. in the holster. Are we okay. taking Kincaid? Yeah, I'm good we, with that. I'm we're, t- we're we just argue. I mean, I'm good with Waddle. I'd love to have Waddle next. I'd love to have Rome next. Um. Jonathan Taylor, Devin A. Chain, Nico Collins, like I'm, like I'm totally fine. Let's just well, not our, the whole the whole theme of the draft right now is trying to get the difference makers at positions, and we're, we punted quarterback. So the the oh, this one of the next biggest punt. difference yeah, the makers. Next, the ne- yeah, is grabbing. Just, this is true. That's a good know, point. If we take Kincaid here, we're either it's either wide got, receiver. We've or got quarterback. a top five at uh, the wide receiver position. We've got a top five at the running back position, and we've got a top five at the at the tight end position and right and, you know so not the worst start but now we got to figure a quarterback out and maybe golf is an option then at four four for us yeah exactly i think you i think you'd be hard to stomach not taking a quarterback at four there we go kincaid, we've, we've done crazier things we got kincaid fist pump right there after four picks we got a fun team that we're looking at here Oh, three picks we got three picks but so yeah i mean so six guys are about to fall off the board and and basically i you know two got paid i'm st- I'm not jumping I'll, up and down for two. I'll take two at four four here. I uh, would. Well, I don't want to. Are you taking you taking two or Drake May? Tua. Yeesh. Man. I, I just, mean, you do get legs with Drake May. I know. So, I, but I don't want to take Drake May at four four, man. I don't want to take. If Drake I can, May if I, more, if he if he slips either. another round or two, then I'll go Drake May. Well, yeah, but Drake May's not making it back to us. That's the thing. You know, there goes Brock there Bowers. Goes Brock Bowers. So we got three. We got four picks There's to go. Lave. Who are we looking at here? And we've been dialed in on where these turns are and what guys are there, so we're we're we're, we're kind of been right on top of it thanks mm-hmm. to the FFD ADP. Those guys do the Lord's work. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> there goes Roma Dunze, which I would have been camp- campaigning hard for Roma Dunze there at the at the four. But it is so FFPC. If you're not familiar, you're only going to get 20 players. There's no we're kicker about defense to be up here in, t- in 60 seconds. But you we're don't about to be up in two picks. You don't get the luxury of being able to sit and wait on guys because they just clog you up. Great point. In the bottom. There's no. There's no big. You're not. You're not hanging on to roster cloggers in the FFPC. It's short bench. It's made to keep the the uh, rookie drafts fun with more with better rosters with better uh, veterans in there. So we're we're got one pick up and there goes Pitts and there goes Waddle. All right, oh. so we're out of that three nine column. So we got we got Jonathan there Taylor. There goes JT. Uh, um, so to, all right, so we're on the clock. H and we got a running back, so I could H and we got golf. To me, it's Jared Golf or Nico Collins. Drake May could be talked about. Um, H and H and could be a guy. I'm I starting three wide receivers. I don't want to be heavy on running backs, honestly. Um, H and is through the roof, but we could just be a little bit I early had, on the other to on the other Miami running backs yeah. and just stack, I had you know? no intentions of taking Jared Goff here but I feel like it just kind of folded into the spot where it's probably not the worst time to take Jared Goff here. it's definitely not a terrible time to take Jared Goff it's just would you fun. rather have uh Tank Dell Nico Collins you I, know I'd rather have both of those guys than Jared Goff to be honest with you but we don't have any quarterbacks so yeah and we're all the way over here some of those guys have two quarterbacks, right? But I mean, a golf, handful of those guys. No, golf's not making it. When we on the way back, we're gonna be looking at we're gonna be in the Bryce. Hey, I'm taking Jared Golf. All right, let's take. So Jared Golf. Jared, Jared Golf goes until week 14 before he plays a game outside. <laughs> Maybe 15. Like he like yeah. Uh, so he he's gonna be indoors for yeah. three quarters of the beginning of the season. That's a, that's a good, solid lineup pick. I, we, I mentioned Jared Goff earlier when I was discussing the, after our first two picks not having a quarterback. That's the least fun pick we've made so far, but that was a, a smart – there's no chance he gets back to us. And then now we're not, like, dying at quarterback. Right. We're, we're okay. But he does not have legs in a four-point. He's going to be consistent. This is that situation where, you know, you would trade around and make some things happen, but a 60-second clock – has its advantages. What we just did, though, is most likely got in the QB one range. Where we we got a top twelve performing quarterback every week. It's not the, it's not the advantage quarterback right. of the top three or well, four guys who like, are scoring like twenty three a, a game. We got the advantage running back, and we got the advantage tight end. Of course, we just got Jamar Chase, so we got the advantage wide receiver. Like you said, we got top five wide receiver, running back, tight end, and now there we goes got Jared Pittman Goff. and Tua and Devonta Smith. Yeah, all guys. We pretty much knew we weren't getting any of those guys. Mm-hmm. On the next go round, we've got a wide range of guys. JSN, Rashi Rice being near the top of the list for me on those turns. If Tank Dell's there, Avi, 
Zay Flowers for me, T. Higgins, DK Metcalf, Worthy. We've got a nice chunk of guys here. We we presume that two or three of them, or maybe even four or five of them, might be there on this kind of uh, five six turn here. Yeah, um, you know, guys like Michael Pittman, DJ Moore. Uh, if I'm in like the fifth round of these drafts and don't have an anchored wide receiver one those are usually my guys where does dj moore rank on on a list here for you in, in the fifth sixth round big co is he not even on your list no he's definitely on my list he's farther up my list than he was there goes nico collins that he was never making it back anyway no. so whatever um but we could see dell uh we could see t we could see jsn worthy we're one rb in so that leaves you know Kenny Walker could be hanging around. Josh Jacobs could be hanging around. Jonathan Brooks. That probably wraps up about the the, the running backs on the next pick and turn that I'd be interested in. Mm-hmm. Um, is there any quarterback on the next kind of six four five nine that is approaching uh, area where you would wouldn't you know would like to draft him? Uh, quarterback wise, probably. Let if, me just if Drake me. May's at five nine, are we taking him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I could take if Drake May makes it back to us. I could take Drake him. May or Bo Nix. Uh, I I mean, if I mean we could, uh, I'd wait a turn. I'm not taking Bo Nix in the fifth round. All right, I'll Fair take enough. another stud. I don't know how high you know from the ADP right. that we have mm-hmm. and, and where Bo Nix was when we stopped drafting, which oh, was three yeah. weeks ago. Yeah, it's not even close. He's moved up a several ton. rounds. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's fair. Eight hundred three was. Mm-hmm was where he was mm-hmm. i i would presume we get into this sixth seventh round and he's going to be going interesting i don't know if i want to plant my flag flag on him in the sixth when you're playing your what yeah right um just fill out some lineup spots here there goes a chance so after we picked it was Pittman, tua devonta smith nico mark andrews and a chan now we're on the 11-12, so that's going to turn around. And yep. then we're coming right back uh, for that 5-9, 6-4 uh, kind of turn. And then when we get to that 7-9-8-4, we have uh, reach kind of mm-hmm. written down in big letters because it kind of gets into a messy, um, dirty area there at that 7-9-8-4 where there's a whole bunch of interesting guys where you're not super sold on really any of them. I mean, you know, Benson could be an option there Debo could be an option there for for a team that's ready to win in the seventh and eighth Um, and we've only got you know one wide receiver so far Mm -hmm. Um, so we're probably going to try to stay focused on that Um, Jaden Reed will be there Uh, Javante Williams potentially Mixon would be running backs on that eight four now we're talking to a turn away from where we are now Um, so just kind of you know in that area, it's going to get that's that's where the kind you know, I don't want to use the cliche. That's where the draft starts, but it kind of does like at? You, at that seven, nine, eight, four area for us. Like all the rest of this stuff's kind of figured out for the most part. And, yeah. and obviously we're working off FF, FFPC ADP, you know, yeah, which, is, obvious- which is which is always, you know, something that you need to take into account is, is you know, if, if everything was just an alphabetical order on every single website. Mm-hmm. drafts would be a lot different right that's uh, why we got that's why we got our adp over there just to keep it separate and jared golf could be struck out whenever you get a chance jay no rush at all because he's on our team and we know he's gone i highlighted him in oh, pink okay. so you know we got him oh okay okay i see that with dalton cade now travis etn at five two what a fucking pick mm-hmm. great pick dj moore etn ayuk at uh at four eleven. would would ayuk be on the at four four there Ayuk over Nico. I don't think you can go wrong. I mean, me personally, I probably want Nico, but Ayuk is there. Goes Drake May at four twelve. DJ Moore, Travis Etienne, DK Metcalf. So we're we're coming up. We're one, two, three, four, five picks out. What you thinking here? You're hoping for Tank Dell, I know. Of course. I mean, yeah, I'm trying to update right here. I'm just pushing wide receivers up the board here, up on our queue. This is on this turn. You'd like to go wide receiver, wide receiver. I would love to go wide receiver, wide receiver. I think if uh, Tank Dell, Rashi Rice, like if um, Kenneth Walker makes it to us, we can have an we can have a, have a conversation about having him. Jacobs, um, there goes Pickens. That's good. I don't need any more Pickens. I got so much Pickens. I didn't want to have to look at him, but I would love Tank Dell to make it here. 
JSN, Zay Flowers, Worthy's fun. Kenneth Walker is on the list here. Obviously, Jonathan Brooks is a little bit down here. Kyron's there. Hawkinson later. What a steal, Hawkinson. What? How? Can yeah. Bo, Bo Nix and Will Levis needs to be talked about, Casey, as far as like what our plan would be. Because I don't necessarily take a chance on one of those guys coming back at the next turn. I think I, I let it ride. Yeah. Well. Worst case scenario, we'll be we'll, we'll, we might have to reluctantly take Watson, even though we have a lot of them, or Christian Kirk, or Kirk uh, Cousins, or Geno, <laughs> yeah, and and figure it out. For me personally, I kind of like Bryce Young. Um, I don't want to take him at the five nine, but maybe that six four, he'd be kind of in play for me. I'd like him in the seventh round; would be much better. But I don't know if we're going to see that. Uncle Wayne over here on the end's got no QBs. Yeah, um, he could come in here and double tap. Right. Keep throwing me off. I got an Uncle Wayne. <laughs> the um, the the situation here with the three quarterback max, it it throws everybody off a little bit because you can't just like go and say, hey, I'm gonna get, you know, I'm gonna take Bogart Patrick, the quarterback. Yeah, I'm gonna take Patrick Mahomes early and then not take anybody until the you know later and then come back with like Derek Carr, um, Danny Dimes, Gino, Gino. And Dan, yeah, you can't you can't like get a three or four get block five quarterbacks yeah. and be like, all right, I'm, one of these will be all right. Yeah. Which is a way I kind of like to play some of them too, and, yeah. and that takes that out of. So there goes Zay Flowers. So you, now you don't have to have that fight with me. So you're <laughs> you're pumped up. I'm not. I <laughs> I don't want to have. I I think I'd rather have Zay Flowers than T Higgins. T goes. That's good to not have to have that fight with you. I think T could crush. But uh, I, what I got, a, go uh, Tigers! Oh, nice Barkley pick up there at five fucking seven. Yeah, that's a really that's good your pick first for running us. back. So we got Tank Dale looking us in the face here. Golly, he's that got, would be great. I like Vandalay Industries there. What do we got? We got J.J. McCarthy, which he's he's probably fallen. So, you know, that's an interesting strategy here. There goes Travis Kelsey. So that's that's nice for us. All right, we're on the clock. That Kelsey pick there is good. So, I mean, I think it's Tank Dell. You want Tank Dell. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm down to take Tank Dell Give me there. somebody better. No, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm okay with it. D.J. Moore's off the board. Um, T. Higgins is off the board. I mean, not that I'm not that I'm saying that those yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But DJ Moore's gone. DK Metcalf's gone. Pickens, yeah, Pickens is, gone. is gone. Higgins so, Flowers is gone. You know, I could make a case for Pickens of being like, ah, oh, that could be just the guy that turns into this monster number one. But Dell's linked to Stroud. Stroud loves him. Yeah, I think you know. Tank Dell's the eat. JSN or Tank Dell. In the long run, I think it's JSN, but I think we're gonna we can get JSN in the turn here if we really want him. JSN or Rice on the turn right here would be glorious for yeah. me. Yeah, you know? JSN. We can't go wrong on this turn coming back. I'm telling you, like as long as if we're passing on a quarterback, which we're gonna throw it back out there, we're gonna get JSN. We're gonna get Kenneth Walker, Xavier Worthy, Jonathan Brooks, Kyron Williams, Rasheed Rice. We cannot go wrong. We're yeah. gonna get one of those. I mean, guys. we could. Get, when we. I mean, not necessarily. But there is six picks. They could go. It's not gonna run out those six in a row. Somebody's going to take a quarterback. We talked about the running backs we like, though. Um, and running backs seem to be hanging around a little bit here. So the room is kind of th- put an emphasis on three wide receivers. Barkley hanging around 0-5-7. He was on the move way up in our ADP. I mean, ETN at 5-2, great pick. Mm. A-Chan at 4-10, maybe a little, you know, flip-flopped with ETN for me there. But, you know, A-Chan could be a league wiener. Um, I, I would say, that, yeah, I, I will say that if we got another wide receiver here that we really like, Kenneth, well, Kenny Walker being gone helps this what I, the point I was about to make. Going out to the next round and coming back, as in like we're on one side of the bracket of the dra- draft board and it goes all the way out and comes all the way back. So a bunch of players are going off the board. Then we're looking at Josh Jacobs on the way back in instead of a running back here. Because um, we, we talked – all night on Friday night about rounds five and six are a good spot for back-to-back wide receivers. And so if we take she rice or JSN or there goes know, Jonathan Brooks, Jonathan Brooks being gone helps that argument too. Um, there goes JJ McCarthy, interesting. uncle Wayne. Oh, he said, I'm young boy. enough, baby. I can wait a year. And he is, he's going young. So he's skewed young, heavy. There goes JSN. He took two guys. He could put on an IR right there. Yeah. Bang, bang. So that was two IR spots. I like so that if Rashi Wayne. Rice doesn't go here, he's the pick for me. If he goes here, um, you know, probably Josh Jacobs might be my pick. Or if you wanted to throw the curveball of, of Bo Nix in there, I'm, I'm, I'm not upset about it there. Can I you, feel can like you scroll down a little bit there for me. Jake, thank you. I feel like, J.J. McCarthy going right there and above Bo Nix and Will Levis kind of rattles me a little bit. I feel like that just pulls the can, the, the, the top off the can and just being like, yo, what, it is fair game out here with these quarterbacks if that's how you go, if somebody's going to. 
do that to us. We're up next, so we got a few seconds here. All We're right. about to be on the clock. Jacobs, Rice, or uh, like a Nix here? Bo Nix. Who else we got? We got Bo Nix. I mean, Bryce Young's. I know. I'm not gonna, you know. I I'm not taking I'm Bryce Young over Bo Nix. Yeah, I can't right. do that. Rasheed Rice is fine. Till next year. Kyron Williams is on the board. No, did Kyron just go? He fell yeah, off. you would have had to fight me to not take Kyron Williams right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kyron, <laughs> Kyron just went. So, all right. So we got Rasheed Rice. We got Rice, Bo Nix. It's Rice and Nix for me. Here. Okay, so Hawkinson's out. My McConkey, Brian Thomas. Will I could take Hawkinson, but you know. Are you okay not getting Bo Nix is, is the thing. He's fun. Will Levis. There's no guarantee we're going to see either one of those guys. Basically, are you okay with having a, a Deshaun Watson, Kirk Cousins as your second quarterback? Stafford. Stafford. Fine. Baker. Right. Um, Baker, Geno. So are we going Rasheed Rice? Did, and Worthy already went, all right? Yeah. Yeah, Worthy's yep. gone. So we got 10 seconds. So we got Rice or Bo Nix? I'll take Rice unless you, you, want unless you Rice? really want to take Bo Nix. And if you click, I don't it, have I any Bo Nix. You want Rice I mean, or Bo Nix? I got Bo Nix a couple times. So. There's Rasheed Rice then. I don't have any Bo Nix. So it's tight. In five seconds, you can't go, I can't go, you know, can't go boun bouncing it back and forth here. We got three wide receivers to start. And a three wide receiver team. We know we don't know exactly what the plight of Rice is, but it looks like we're going to make it through this year potentially. You know, I will. I, say, you, you cannot IR a suspended player, so that would suck a lot. Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that when it comes. Oh, it's there coming. goes Pacheco. Damn, that I didn't expect to even see Kyron Williams um, on that that almost, on that turn. Yeah, but that would have been awesome. I'd probably take Kyron Williams over Tank Dell, to be honest with you. I was I didn't even know he was still available because I'm looking at a different set of things. Okay. I probably would have taken Kyron over Tank Dell. When you're just gonna like I just Yeah. I just don't think that Yeah, I like who's I used to say Tank Dell wouldn't have made it back to us that was, you right. know, who, I I don't obviously the punt return stuff came up and like I you know, I think people are just overrating how many fucking punts get returned here, man. Right. And like how long like you think Kyron Williams would be the punt returner for every punt the whole year? Doubtful. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, he that, said yeah, it. Yeah. He said it. They're basically all just saying it because he's awesome. And they're like, oh, we're going to put the ball in his hands. You know, and we yeah. trust him. Yeah. I don't I don't. That, that's not very indicative. To, it's, it's, it's not the most comforting thing, but it's not the most indicative thing to be like, oh, yeah, Corum's just taking his job now, of course, because he's returning punts like Kyron Williams scored was the only person who could put up McCaffrey like points last year. And I just why, why why do you what what did he do that changes that, right for for the for the Rams right and when is Sean McVay not rode a guy, right, you got it you got a good backup and you should have a good backup and you should have a guy who could take some some uh, miles off of of uh, Kyron and you've got it blew up in your face paying a running back one time so when Kyron's up you can have Corum step right in for yeah. a couple of years by the time Corum's ready to get paid he's going to be like thirty five. Because he's already 28, you know, and he comes into the league old, great. That Debo pick was a bummer there. Devontae Adams, Brian Thomas, James Cook, Pacheco, Ladd McConkey all going off the board. Any regrets so far? Kyron's my regret. I didn't even, that's just I'm 60 sorry. second clock, and yeah. I, I wasn't, I'm, I got, I, I didn't even have Kyron marked down in our yeah. range of outcomes in that area yeah. because I didn't think he would be the outcome. And that's a, that's a, you know, the 60 second clock, Bo. Yeah, wasn't ready for it. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. bad. Mm -hmm. Damn, <laughs> damn. How much would I have to fight you for that pick? Not much. All right, not much at all. I saw a lot of shit talking about being like, "Well, if you if you think you need to take Blake Corum after you took Kyron Williams, and you shouldn't have taken Kyron Williams in the first place," and I'm like, "That's the dumbest shit I ever heard." There goes Josh Jacobs. Y'all boys just say shit to be saying shit. Try to be so fucking smart. No, I feel like if I take out Kyron Williams, I can get fucking. Blake Corum in the 10th round and just shore up that I got the starting fucking running back for the Rams, mm -hmm. I'm good. Mm -hmm. That makes me feel even more comfortable of taking Kyron Williams in the fourth round, where he should be going. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Josh Jacobs, Rashad White. There goes TJ Hawkinson. Um, so jump around. Steal. Presumably a Wisconsin fan, maybe. Interesting. There goes Bryce Young. So you don't have to, you don't have to fight me on that one on the way back. <laughs> yeah, it's big because so relieved right now. That wouldn't happen. Let me take a kicker. I, I can click the button too, Bo. No, you cannot. <laughs> yes, I can. You have no button. You have no button. Um, we're on the uh, the, the kind of area that I was foreshadowing where we were talking about kind of reaching. Now we're we're one quarterback in and one oh, running Jesus. back in. In this, you know, eight, nine, ten for me. And if you've been listening to us all year long, you know that that's my Kirk Hollywood Deontay Johnson area. 
and that's that's kind of the way I want to play it, especially in this kind of league. I don't want to wait around for A.D. Mitchell. I don't want to wait around for Xavier Leggett. I don't want to wait around for, obviously, you know, Ricky, Ricky Pearsall, pour one out, probably going a little later these days. I don't want to potentially wait around for Keon Coleman there um, to, to, to figure it out, mm-hmm. right? FFPC, that doesn't reward you for that. Right. That no, no, much, no, no, no. Right? Yeah, you got, you got to get players that are going to play and be good right away. Um, so there goes Cooper Cup. And at some point, does this team adjust because of, you know, we're not built – we're not I certainly just, old by any means. We're I, actually pretty young. I just messed up on the queue, and I was on the running back page. I didn't mean to, and I clicked all the running backs into the queue instead of the all because I what I've been doing is going down the all and just clicking everybody over there and reordering them. So I need you to look at uh, who's available for a second and just zero in with me because I don't want to be on the clock here and be fouling this up. Well, I think – I just for, for us, we, we know we don't like this area all that much. We right? got four picks left. We don't, but we got Bo Nix and Will Levis on the board. So we got. I'm down to take Bo Nix with one of these picks. Absolutely. How's where's Javante Williams fit with you here? I could take Javante Williams, but I, I, I need to see. I can't take. I probably need to take Bo Nix or Will Levis before I take anybody else right here. Really. Mm-hmm. Um, unless there's somebody just staring us in the face when we figure out who it is. I got to get my cue right. I messed that cue up bad. Um, Scroll back up a little, Jason. So Rice is what we got. There goes, you know, Watson's cousins hanging around, Evans hanging around, Kittle hanging around, Swift, Benson, um, Stefan Diggs, and then Bo Nix. So we're right on par where Bo Nix was, you know, not a huge jump. We were the FFD drafters See, were already on it. This is how it's crucial how – Jay's got the our ADP right up there with those guys that are marked off. I'm sure not many people are sitting around triple teaming this we draft. Used, we used to call that two season and H clutch, crucial, and huge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see the big reach here from Cooper Cup way down. Well, that reach is from summertime. Cooper Cup is he going to make it in a season healthy? Deshaun Watson, quarterback off the board. Here we go. Oh. Two more picks. Two more picks. Oh. Oh. Bo Nix right in front of us. Fuck. Is this, li- <laughs> is this live? <laughs> Derrick Henry, great pick. See ya. That's actually that's a great pick for us. I think it's a terrible pick. The seventh round. I, <laughs> I do not understand why Maybe people are Derek just Henry. still dynasty drafting Derrick Henry. We're on Henry. the clock. Jesus. We certainly are. Okay. All right. Didn't know that was happening so, so fast. That Derrick Henry snap up. We're taking Levi's and or Levis. We want to you want to get in there and grab us a uh, a Kirk, tell me, show, show me who's who who the best value is in already PJ Wayne. Kirk, Kirk Cousins, um, Mike Evans, yeah, no, um, Swift, Swift, no, nope. Benson, Benson. I could, I think we got to take Will Levis. Yeah, seconds, you need right? a quarterback. We don't need a quarterback. We need a quarterback. We don't need a quarterback. What you think? Of I just don't know how long Levis hangs. Yeah, do you want? I don't have any Levis. Do you want to play the Levis run here, or do you want to? I mean, we got 10 seconds, so I need you to tell me what you want to do. We could take Levis for lack of a better, you know, it's maybe a hair early, and maybe we could get him on the, the come around, but we've been talking about him for a minute. It'll be fun. I don't have any yet. You know, it, it obviously it sucks that we can't go heavy on the quarterback now that we have Levis. I wouldn't mind grabbing exactly. like Stafford First and thing Gino. It, yeah, exactly. The first we thing could grab Stafford on this come around. Yeah. Well, no, not now. I'm, 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 I'm going to hang out because we can't take any more. Should we have taken Kirk Cousins there? Probably. But we, we could take, well... And then Penix. You got a young man who's going to run around who's jacked and it can sling it all. Well, it might not, not be a good The problem with in this situation is that, you know, Clock you're really hamstrung. Anymore. Yeah. Um, and you can't, you, you can't you IR can, Penix. You can get more quarterbacks after the draft. You just can't have. Oh. have. But, I mean, 36 are going to get drafted, so you're going to be waiver wiring somebody. Backups. You know, uh, yeah, backups or Spencer Rattler. All right. Do you, you want to go running back here? Um, you want to grab another tight end? Ingram and Ferguson are still on the board. Kittle's still on the board. Um, Kirk, Hollywood, and Deontay Godwin are probably my favorite wide receivers that are left. Javante, Monty, Harris, AK, Ramondre Stevenson, Pollard, Spears. Thoughts? There goes Kirk Cousins and Jordan Addison. Jordan Addison's a good pick. Yeah. I mean, I could definitely take Evan Ingram here, but... With Ingram, Ferguson, Kittle, and Njoku, all four being on the list, I could ship it out the other way. Yeah, give me Kirk if we are if we want a piece of that Jags offense and some catches. Yeah, there my man, Penix. my Uncle Wayne's playing playing for next year, Bo. That's fine. That's all right. 
He's building he's building a, a potential monster. All right, so but that's the you know if you're listening to this, that's the glory of FFPC, right? You don't have to worry about the that's right. the the league shutting down, right? And that's why we've partnered up with FFPC because we've been playing with them for a while. After you run out of playing with your friends, mm-hmm. um, and there's only so many leagues you can get in, or you want to play for a little bit more money, and your and your friends are just you know dirty pores. <laughs> um, you know, and you know, you go promo code FFD, get yourself 25 off at, at checkout and, and go in and play. And you don't have to worry about the league collapse. And that's kind of their claim to fame. They've never had a league fold. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about it. You get in some of them Twitter leagues. That shit could be gone next year because everyone that have the league trade away there first. They don't want to play anymore. Right. Uh, yeah. So. All right. Where are you at here? Big picks, there goes Benson. Two picks. Christian Kirk. Um, Christian Watson. Deontay Johnson. Wide receivers. I mean, Hollywood's up there for me right here. But if you want to take Kirk, Hollywood's, he's he's. Are you? I don't. I don't think you need to take Watson. Hollywood. He's hurt. Yeah, but for a week. Um, so I'd I'd probably take Christian Kirk or Javante Williams here. Or if you wanted to just take another quarterback and shut it down. Um, no, I don't want to take quarterback here. Swift. I don't see. I mean, Kirk Cousins is gone. I mean, I I don't want to take quarterback. That's for sure. All so right. that's that's easy. Swift, Kirk, Javante Williams. I, I don't want Swift. Okay. I could take Blake Corum. Pass. Too early. Oh, way too, oh we're in early eighth. Yes, way too early. Um, so I think it's either Evan Ingram or Christian Kirk or Hollywood Brown. I'll take Kirk. Give me Kirk. Evan Ingram and his 125 catches? He ain't getting 125 catches. Again. But he gets 50% more points on his catches than Christian Kirk does. Yeah, but Christian Kirk's going to have You want it. Kirk or Hollywood Brown? I'll take Kirk this round because Hollywood will probably – make it back All right. i've been playing this game for yeah six months you get, you get kirk first and then hollywood mm-hmm. and then deontay johnson sticks around or godwin we'll see what happens yep no i mean i'm fine with evan ingram but if you look at evan ingram's shit he doesn't blow up until kirk's out of the lineup yeah and then kirk out of the lineup really helps so i just feel like yeah he gets extra point and a half but you know i just i, I like where christian kirk's at i like where the chemistry with him and uh t law's at I like Brian Thomas adding to this offense and being a better role player of what they wanted out of Calvin Ridley. And Calvin Ridley is a great receiver and was good for them last year. But I just feel like there's going to be even more for Christian Kirk to to gobble up with, you know, Brian Thomas being a rookie. And obviously they have Gabe Davis, but we're not terribly worried about that. Right. So I just think the vertical game of, of Brian Thomas and, and, and kind of how they were using Calvin Ridley last year in that role and not not kind of using him to the best of his abilities and kind of making him stay on that outside. Ryan Thomas fits that really well. I think that even opens things up and for, for even more for Kirk um, to, to grab and, and just spam a bunch of catches. I, you know, I could have, I could have gotten into the olds there. I could have, I could have been interested in Terry and Amari Cooper. Um, but Terry went the very next pick. Uh, yeah. That's why I said that. Mm-hmm. Um, and Calvin Ridley, you know, we just got Levis. You know, I'm not. I'm not going to be upset at a nuke stab a little later. I, I could have been interested in Jake Ferguson there. Um, yeah, well, I told you I wanted Ferguson or better better as a tight end, but we got we, we got, got Kincaid. We got Kincaid. But in, in this league, and with a 1.5 tight end premium, like I'm, I, often I'm flexing. flexing a tight end. Yeah, especially when you got to start three wide receivers. So it's nice to have a couple tight ends that when your wide receivers hit, you know, injuries and bye weeks and all that fun stuff. It's nice to be able to plug somebody in. All right, so we're coming back at nine nine. We're hoping I'm hoping or I'm going to see Hollywood Brown. Okay, I'm hoping I'm going to see Deontay. Those would be my picks for sure, locked in right there. Um, if those guys are available to be able to take um, some other guys around there, I think Jalen Wright will eventually will probably make his way up there. Even though in FFPC, maybe that's not you don't want to get too overzealous. I don't think with him just yet. Um, Zamir White might be in that 10-4 range. Jamison Williams, um, A.D. Mitchell, Christian Watson already went. Calvin Ridley, Godwin, there goes Mike Evans. And then, you know, quarterbacks in that 10-4 range, you have potentially Geno uh, being kind of hanging around. Uh, Stafford's still hanging around. Uh, who else in our quarterback room? Um, so, you know, maybe, maybe we maybe we just reached on Levis and, and we didn't need to, but um, who knows? We got a lot of fun. It's going to be fun. Well, you said we, we reached on Levis, but I mean, 
Right. We Watson have, went before it, Nick's right after, and then Kirk went after we took Levis. Yeah, we took Levis, and then there was a, a you know Jordan Addison, and it was back to back quarterbacks. It was Kirk and Penix, and the dude in the chat said you took Penix. I was going to take Penix. Obviously, the Kirk Cousins guy was trying to take Kirk and Penix. So like there was another guy eyeing quarterback. Yeah. He didn't take a quarterback. Don't like the Uncle Wayne Mixon pick there. There's no reason for you to take Joe Mixon, Bo. Right. Well, maybe he's going to trade him. May, I mean, sure. But, yeah. I mean, your whole team is meant, picked for next year. Mixon's like not going to help you really. Right. Which is, well, I mean, to say your whole team, I mean, I, I, he's got St. Brown. Well, you Brown got McCarthy and, and Penix. They ain't even playing. You ain't got another quarterback. And, yeah. And then you got St. Brown holding you down, but he's young enough that you don't care. And Marv's going to be good. And then Rome. True. You know, Kyle Pitts could be great. And Jonathan Brooks ain't playing for the first four or five games. That's true. You, you got know. you got a quarterback. You got two quarterbacks that ain't playing and a one and a running back that ain't playing. Maybe so. he's so far ahead. He knows that you play for the first pick. You need to mix and yeah, that he's swift value there. Yeah, I like that swift value. I've big co out on swift. I was like, yeah, interested in swift a little bit. Deontay Johnson's a dagger in my heart right there. Yeah, there goes Corum. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Cal, yeah. There goes Calvin Ridley. Where, got a, where, got where a Joku you? hanging around. Diggs, Joku, Mayfield. Joku's on the board here for me at 9-9. At nine, nine. Baker's still out there. And also Matt Stafford, too. You'd probably rather have Matt over Baker. If Stafford's here, did we take him? Not over Hollywood or Joku in my mind. Okay. And then 10-4, would we take... Is it you want to... God, Stafford or Gino? Going. So What'd you say? I said 10... If we, so if we, if we can manage to get Hollywood... Um, or Joku would, and then ten four would would <coughs> Stafford or um, Gino be a possibility there? Stafford or Gino, uh, possibly, yeah, ten four. And Javon, four. Javante ten Williams four. is still hanging around for me here. I kind of like this value on Javante right oh, here. Of course, the John Javante Williams value right here is incredible. Um, let's see, I'm trying to pull some more guys up on our queue here. After we make this turn, I might have to take a quick bathroom break. Got to do what you got to do. Is Jalen Wright jumping up here for you? Well, I talked about him a little bit. Wright. I think you were moving guys around. There goes Joku. Dang it. Um, there, there goes, goes Jalen Wright. Wright. Oh, that takes the fun out of that pick. We're about to be on the board here. And two picks. One more pick. <sighs> Who's going to have to wait that you? turn, Case? Well, I mean, if we got Hollywood, Brown's been at the top of our queue the whole time. But it's night. We got... We got Javante. We could fall back on here if we get if Hollywood gets pulled out. We got Javante. We could fall back on. Baker's still up there. You got Stafford. If I'm taking Baker, I'm pretty much fine with Geno. Right. I'm not taking Baker. I'm, I'm not. I'd kind of. I don't mind at this point. I don't mind Baker at all. But well, I, mean, I, 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 I think I could we can't wait take another, another quarterback. I think Gino everybody's. Eventually. I think everybody's going to be playing the. I'll take a quarterback later card, and I think there's going to be some in, like somebody that. There's gonna be a round or two extra value on that those last two or three quarterbacks, and I don't think we're gonna. Well, I don't we, think we're we gonna have a choice. You gotta ask yourself who's your third guy that you want to go into the season with. And with Well Levis, I would rather sure up a guy here. There goes Baker. So you want to take Stafford? You want to take? Um, obviously, I don't think we need to take Geno here with Stafford on. The I don't want to take a quarterback here. Okay, not in this pick. All right, let's take Hollywood then. Yeah. So Hollywood makes it easy on us. We got Javante Williams. Would you take Javante over Hollywood? I don't mind taking Javante and seeing if Hollywood comes back, but we got Brees Hall and then we got Jamar Chase, Tank Dale, Rasheed Rice. I mean, we still got a flex that's not taken care of. You know, it's not about how many running backs and wide receivers you got. You got we got to you know get as many good players as we can get. Right. Um, and if Javante Williams is going to score points. We could back him up later with another. The, the, we know the Broncos running backs are going to catch balls, but we do have Rasheed Rice and Rasheed Rice and Hollywood like. I don't mind having multiple Chiefs receivers. No, I'll, sure. I'll take them all. So do you want Hollywood or you want Javante? I'm down with either one. You, you, you make, Hollywood you make might make call. it back to us. You want to take Javante now and try for Hollywood? Sure. You I go got with a ton that? of Hollywood. I do too. I only have one Javante, so that makes my second Javante. There was a chance that both of those guys would make it back to us, but we had to pick somebody. So, All um, right. Tight end wise, um, it's you know the Comets, the Goddard, the Sinnets, Friar Moose left. Senate's gonna fall down on my board here on this in this well, league. FFPC, sure. Yeah, Senate's gonna go a little lower than he normally would. For How me. about JMO on the next pick? If if there goes Pat Fryermuth, so there that's that's Fryer the guy Muth. that I would want. Mm -hmm. um, JMO on the next pick, if I'm no Hollywood. On, and in the in the queue here, or in the um in the avail, not our queue, but on the list of guys. We gotta take Stafford next. Hollywood right? Brown has a doubtful. No, you okay. pull up the quarterbacks. There's okay. Stafford, 
Geno, Daniel Jones, Sam Darnold's going to play all year. He can't not play now. Yeah, but I Justin mean Justin Field. I mean, right? Uh, but Aaron I'm saying Rogers. we're going. We're we're already we're yeah, we're, it's we're going like, to the league with Levis. Ben, Bench and Levis. Right, right. You're talking about putting ben Levis on the Pick bench. Pick up Stafford. <laughs> I'd rather just have Hollywood Brown than Stafford. Yeah, I'd, you know, I wouldn't mind solving my quarterback problem here. I don't know um, that we have a quarterback problem. I mean, we 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 mm. we don't think we do until we do. Until it's week four, and we're like, fuck, we got a quarterback problem. <laughs> yeah. It's either going to be week four where we're like, fuck, yeah, we don't have a – Will Levis is awesome. Yeah. Or it's going to be just like, you know, 6, 18, mm-hmm. 6, 12, you know. There goes Rodgers. Whoo. I guess what I'm saying is well, – I don't, I don't like what, what this guy's doing at all here. Uncle Wayne right, started well, let's, off let's, great. Let's, we, yeah, we got two picks before our pick, so I'm, let's not worry about it. I mean, I got to narrow it down to two guys. Here. Who you got? Matthew Stafford or, or Hollywood, Hollywood Brown? Well, both of those guys could go. So let's do some homework <laughs> here. The two more picks. But anyway, my Stafford is Give projected. Stafford is projected a few more points than the next cluster. But Geno, Daniel new. Jones, Derek Carr, Russell Wilson, Sam Darnold. That's five wide right. And obviously Stafford is a head and shoulders above all those guys put together. Literally, you combine their attributes, Stafford's better than all those guys. Mm-hmm. He's older and maybe who knows how much longer there's people talk. He might he's, not play he's one six more months year. older than Kirk cousins. He just went seven rounds ago, coming off an Achilles three rounds ago. Uh, well, sorry in the seventh round. Oh, okay. Um, tried a big code there seven rounds ago. Yeah. 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 Uh, so anyway, I just like fantasy points projection wise, which doesn't mean anything, but at least you, th- those are your starters. There's still five starters left. And if Jay could scroll back and forth, left and right on this draft board here, I'm sure most teams have, I don't know if he can with the ADP there. No, that's fine. Um, just it, moving left and right. It's all just, there. It's all 12? Yeah. Okay, okay, cool. You know, so one guy's got maxed out at three already. Yeah, that's the guy. Oh, know. yeah, go up. So there's – they see, that's what I'm talking about. There's multiple teams that have three already. So, like, the team that takes – there's going to be three of these starters sitting here that's going to sit there, and there's going to be a guy that says, I don't need to take a quarterback right now. because three I, guys with three, right? At least. Three guys with three. And a lot – and everybody else has two. Four, uh, one, two, three, four. I'm just, you know, the strategy in the, in the, the game inside of the game. Oh, my God, we're up next. Yeah. We got 20 seconds. A.D. Mitchell. I mean, we're good. We, we, I, J-Mo, Stafford. Justin Fields goes. Justin what was Fields. that? Excellent. Who, who did that? Was that a misclick? Excellent. Do we need to pause the draft No, this we don't guy? need to do anything. Uh, Somebody need to text the commission. Text the commission. I mean, he's I, a Russell he took, Wilson here. took the upside shot. I mean, whatever. Tenth round Justin Fields. Let's go. Jesus. All right. Us. What do you want? Hollywood. I mean, it's Hollywood Brown, right? We almost took him last sure. time, but it's but he's he's going out. We don't get any more of these players for a minute. So before you click them, I mean, you? hopefully we'll get Gino on the comeback. That's what I'm the, that's what totally you're hoping fine for. with that. Are you taking Hollywood Brown over R- Ricky Pearsall? Just got shot. That's yeah. not fair. Um, <laughs> Jameson Williams. You know, just looking at what Xavier, you know, vital organs. You taking like, Hollywood Brown over Leggett? Yes. Jalen Warren. He's yes. got a quad, but you, you probably shouldn't do that. Yes. Why shouldn't I do that? Old versus new. Mm. One guy's playing with Mahomes. Yeah. Well, one guy's a running back. Hollywood Brown, we got 12 yeah, seconds, so we got to do Hollywood. something anyway. Jamison Williams? Give me Hollywood right now. Hollywood Brown. Najee? Hollywood. Kamara? Hollywood. Okay. Hollywood Brown's on the team. Well, boys, if you guys are you kids looking at this from home, uh, we've talked about uh, the value on Christian Kirk and Hollywood Brown for months and months, and we have just cl- drafted Christian Kirk at 8 4 and Hollywood Brown at 10 4 in a start three wide receiver league. Uh, so that's uh, putting your money where your mouth is. That's it. That's it. Monty's gone. Strong pick. Oh yeah. I mean, that's when you you know you get here in the tenth round, and you, it's nah, especially yeah. in quarterback, you know, uh, super flex. There's always going to be players that are just values. And when you you know you, you look at Najee Harris in the tenth, David Montgomery in the tenth, like these are good guys. Ad Mitchell was somebody that I was hoping we'd find our way into being able to draft because I don't have any of him yet. Made it through all my rookie drafts and just didn't have A.D. Mitchell earlier in the offseason. I was just prioritizing other people in front of him, which were paid off well. Like uh, Jalen Wright, had Jalen Wright multiple times over uh, A.D. Mitchell when I could have taken either one. I made the decision. Now Jalen Wright's, you know, freaking back into the first round all of a sudden. Made a couple of good plays in the preseason. That's how it works. We can't stand ourselves. But, yeah, I don't have any A.D. Mitchell now. And Well, there was months and months ago. Casey was talking up Jalen Wright, how he liked him. 
Oh, and then he yeah. got selected by the Dolphins. And then on like the next show, he was like talking him down and like he can't take him here because it's, it's too high. And I was like, bro, that's you the opposite. like this guy? Yeah, you like and him. And he's before? on the Dolphins. Yeah. I knew right then that I had to get Jalen Wright. Oh, for sure. And I mean, as the summer went on, we just had two rookie drafts. I got him in both. Yeah, and you and you were um, in the back of the first, yep. and you were there to capitalize because if yep. you if you had if that was if those were earlier rookie drafts, the early range. Uh, the, the May Junes, you weren't taking Jalen right there. The no. hype wasn't there. You no, would have been taking somebody else. You wouldn't have need. You yeah. would have been middle of the second, and that's a priority because he went to the. He went like in Superflex mm-hmm. in one QB league. Now that's different, right. but in Superflex he well, was Steve going. These were one QB league, so even into right. the first, was, you know, I got him eleven and twelve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was definitely uh, even now. That's up there, but that's completely like I had a two-two pick in both of those drafts, and I was like, oh, I'm taking Jalen right if he makes it to me. Yeah, in both of those drafts. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, one so quarterback after play. Hollywood, you got Montgomery, Najee, Jameson Williams, Matthew Stafford, every guy we were all over. We didn't mention Montgomery's name at all there, but, um, you know, this is, you know, the board's for the most part broken out kind of how we, we, we planned it out. We, we went through all this FFD ADP coming in clutch, $5 holler. Go check that shit out. Uh, we'll be there oh all season boy. for you. Here, what you got? Uncle Wayne over here just says it's three quarterback, the max. Does he have three already? Yeah. Oh, Uncle Wayne, I love what you did so far. And some no, of these, I hate but, what you did. Oh, boy. What'd you what'd you what'd you go Joe Joe Mixon Rogers Zamir White for though? You could have just keep eating shit for the rest of the draft, drafting all Dra- the best value. Yeah, drafting all the rookies and the young and then guys. Then just go suck it up, up, trade some guys away, have a plethora of picks, and come out swinging year two three and just be dominating. This is almost always how I like to play it, but FFPC a little different. Hundred dollar league, you know, no high stakes here. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. it's just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> Small flex, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Send it before commit. Can't can't do it. There goes Chase Brown. All right. So um, coming up, where, where are we at here? Uh, 11 9. I had Chase Brown in there. Um, you know, what do we need? We need potentially another tight end, but I think at this point we're probably chilling. Um, that 12 4 spot on the turn, I got guys like Likely, Musgrave, JT Sanders, those guys floating between 12 and 13. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Komet hanging around, Goddard hanging around. At some point, Goddard's got to come a value, right? Like, sure. I know they just picked up Jahan Dotson, but, like, you know, Goddard's a really good player. Been been a little banged up. Komet, Ooh. good player. Um, you know, Geno Smith, I think, would be really nice for our team right here. Jalen Polk, don't mind that pick at all. Xavier Leggett. Uh, so, two rookies back-to-back. Bang, bang. Uh, on the next roll, did Tony, has Tony... Pollard gone. He is not gone. All right. So we got Tony Pollard, Jalen Warren, uh, B Rob, Keenan Allen, Aaron Jones. You know, some interesting running backs left. Connor, Moss. Connor's off the board. Chase just went. There, there goes, goes Aaron, Aaron Jones. Jones. Jinx. Um, Josh Downs, Marshawn Lloyd, uh, Romeo Dobbs. All, all sort of guys that could be uh, in the fold for the next area and, and turn uh, you got to take a swing on pollard at this point it, it's getting close to being 11th right it's it, it, super interested he's got uh, some money for me i don't know where big co stands on that there goes gino smith silences <laughs> concurrence <laughs> yeah gino still got your boy danny got danny dimes and car left all right basically. jay wayne go, yes uh show me who's up there best values on our adp currently bud I don't think there's... Okay, just, yeah, scroll down till you start finding him. Ricky Pearsall, obviously. Yeah, uh, he's, he's a, there he is. He's, uh, he's Alicia Keys in it right now. Pollard, Komet, Goddard, Keenan. Tight end value, Keenan Allen value. I mean, you got to get Komet. I'm, I'm lower on Komet than Casey for this going into this year right now. Why? He's scared of Gerald Everett. He just doesn't like Komet. Jared no, Everett? I, no, I'm not scared of Gerald Everett. I'm just, they got... Ridiculous pass catchers all over the field. Dalton Schultz still available. Komet's Caleb young. Looks Komet, awesome. Komet's super young and paid. Yeah, uh, 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 that's I'm, a no-brainer. I'm down with it. It's not. Uh, there goes Jermaine Burton. B. Rob would have been fighting you for that pick on the next one. Y'all are scared of uh, Eckler. I don't want to take I've, if Eckler becomes no, a value. You're in scared the, of him. I, you're what? not scared of him taking B. Rob. No, I mean they're they're, they're giving B. Rob some love. B. Rob was good last year. Good pat. Good. Hey, at we're up next. Pass. We got you won't. You're looking at Cortland Sutton, Dontavian Wicks, Josh Downs for wide receivers. Anybody else? Oh, man. 
Ricky, we're like letting Ricky Pierce all slide here with the injury. He might yeah. not. No vital organ. There goes we're, up, we're, up, we're up in 60 seconds here. We're up. We're, we're, on, up. The we're on the clock. So Downs, Romeo Dobbs, probably at the top of the list. Keenan Allen's not a terrible stab here. I like um, Josh Downs. Dontavian Wicks. Nah, that's a pass for me for a couple rounds. Okay. It's got to be 13th Rather round. Have before I'm in on Cortland this. Sutton. What? Sutton. Pollard? 13th round. Okay. I'd, I'd take Tony Pollard here. I would take Komet or Goddard or Dalton Schultz here. Commit all day. If you have a quarterback you like, um, Ricky Daniel Pearsall Jones. or Tony Pollard or Josh Downs, Cole Commit, Romeo Dubs, or Tony or over these guys. I'll take Romeo, Tony Pollard first. I'll take Tony Pollard. Sure, take a shot. We got Levis. You got it. Yeah. Didn't see that coming. No. Yeah. Did not Komet see the Tony Pollard. Big. Didn't. S- Kinnamet oh. was definitely not the pick. I mean, I would have been Crazy. fine. Crazy, gotta been fine with Crazy Kinnamet there. Pick, but there goes Musgrave, man. That's disrespect. Mus- Musgrave, good pick. A dish. No, Comet still out there. That's a fun pick. I mean, so we're coming back for me. That's a fun pick. Romeo on there. Finally, um, Ricky stops the bleeding. Well, you know, there's two, there's two things going on with Ricky Pearsall right now. One, he got shot. Two, he's got a fucking shoulder injury he's that been hurt before been, now, yeah. that he's been that he had before he got fucking drafted, and it kept him out all off season. But yeah. that's a fucking problem. That is a problem. I don't have any Tony Pollard anywhere, so that was that's an interesting pick for me there. That'd be that'd be a fun one on Sundays when he's scoring points for sure because he looks electric right now. He looked good at the end of the season last year. Tony. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, it's going to be up and down, hot hand. There goes Romeo Dobbs. So who do you like here, Big Co? Because I I've, I've was trying to get a little intel for you when we were leading up there, and you were, you were clicking, J.K. Tobbins, 12th round. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we're doing things. Um, where are we at? 12? All right. So now this is this is um, Sutton, Jacoby for me, Downs, uh, Zach Moss. Daniel Jones is off the board. Should we revisit the quarterback scenario? Well, it's fucking here? it's Carr. That's that's it. Who else you got? You know, Sam Darnold late. Gardner yeah. Minshew. We're out of QBs. That's why I was yeah, pushing heavy earlier. But yeah, uh, no, it's fine. I mean, I'm I would I'm just I'm I'm fine taking Sam Darnold. I would take Sam Darnold over Derek Carr. Yeah, I, I mean, that's why uh, with those Vikings sure. pass. I mean, oh, that's just why I wanted to, why I was was interested in Stafford in nine and ten. Sure, um, and Geno. But, uh, you know, we're up. Sutton, Roman Wilson is interesting here. Jacoby or Downs. Raheem uh, Mostert for the win? No. Still no okay. commit? I mean, Big Cone uh, don't want to take commit. You so want to take Cortland Sutton? I'm not taking. Uh, the obvious wide receiver one for the Broncos? I'll take Sutton. I'll take Jacoby. Um, I'll take Cut- Cortland take Sutton. Over I'll take Cortland. Cortland Sutton over. over. I'll take Keenan Allen. I'll take Cortland Sutton over Jacoby Myers. He's he a, hate Jacoby He's a number one on the Hates Broncos. Him. Hates Jacoby Myers. Cortland Sutton or Josh Downs? Mm. Let's Josh Downs. Really? Let's see if Sutton hangs around. There he is. Josh Downs the is on the disrespect on Cole Komet. Oh, man. I can't, I can't get Big Cone. Big Cone's not going to take Komet. So incredible. We don't need to fight about it. I uh, wow. definitely would have taken Cortland Sutton there, but we got Josh Downs. That's fun. Well, you know, Here we go. I just, I've, I just want Jacoby Myers to go out there and just be wide receiver 24 again, and Big Co just keep saying, I don't want Jacoby yeah, Myers I don't want for some reason. I don't want a two, guy three. who's just exactly what you want in the yeah. 12th round. I'm not sure why we don't want that guy. Nice. But hey. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't need that many points on my team. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely yeah. should have taken Cortland Sutton in one of those picks. Dang it. Uh, Sutton hangs around. Nobody I like, likes, I, I nobody like, likes that. Sutton. I like He's twenty nine. That's the I like pro- that eleventh, that if, late eleventh round Tony Pollard. If Sutton was coming was around twenty six, he'd be gone. But Sutton's like twenty nine, mm-hmm. and Broncos people are yeah, he might hang around. So we might have a chance at Sutton in the thirteenth round here. But you know, we need to start talking. You know, Shakir went, Jerome Ford heavy heavy uh, in rotation for me here, coming up. Nuke, interesting. Keenan Allen, if he's hanging around, auto pick. And then, you know, obviously, Komet, he's D- uh, Dalton just Schultz. getting disrespected. Dalton Schultz, Goddard, Komet, all around. I'll take any any all, one of those three. All these weapons around, he's not going to be, like, wide the fuck open. Well, that, you know, that's the same argument I'll use for... for um, it doesn't take that many. Any scores touchdowns, he's good in the red zone. Like uh, He was great oh, last dude. year. I mean, I, I, 25 he's 24. or something? Yeah. He's 24. Um, Too easy. Might be 25 Y'all. by now. But I, 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 I love Komet. I just know Big Co's not into Komet, so I'm just, you know... We don't need to keep crushing it. Definitely just 
annoy the shit out of y'all with the full commit <laughs> until he gets taken. And then I'm still going to bring it back. Like, ah. So you so steal the draft right now. On the next go round, it is me 13 9, 14 4. That's 14 4 is getting into the Pop Douglases, the Marvin Mims, Shahids, the McMillans. Not sure where you stand on any of those guys. I like my. You got, I'm, I'm, Shakir, I'm in on the McMillan. Shakir train. went. Ford, Quentin Johnston hanging around in the 14th round, you know, could be okay. Wicks is 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 in the rotation for me at that point. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I mean, I'm definitely in on Wicks if he makes it that far. I don't think he will. Um, there, there goes Dallas Goddard. Goddard. There goes Sam Darnold. So where where what what what, what what's your strategy coming up here, Big Co? Well, I guess at this point I should have said commit at all costs. <laughs> should have said that I would have taken Sam Darnold over those last two players that we picked. But uh, let's. I see. said Sam Darnold. These. I said, I said, these said the, Sam these Darnold. The you, said, left. you said I said Sam I said Darnold. Sam you said Darnold. Sam Darnold later. I said like, Sam Darnold Carr. I said I'll take Sam Darnold over Carr, and you said yeah I'll take Sam later. I'm like all right, well we'll see if he gets back to us later. Um. All right, so we got a handful of picks before we get back here. We got like eight more picks before we're on the clock. Where is Cortland? He just went. There he is. I know I'm trying to mark him off. This is excruciating. Cortland, Wicks, both go there. I did not want to sign up to be the cross off the player drafted <laughs> guy. It's perfect for you. Um, let's see. Go scroll back up there. So no, Jahan, I got to cross off a guy. Jahan Dotson. Available. Keenan Komet. Keenan. <laughs> Keenan's at to me on the next go round. If Keenan's available, that's an auto pick. No comment from Big Co on any time I've ever mentioned Keenan's name, so he doesn't want anything to do with Keenan Allen for some reason. I mean, if he keeps hanging around, I guess at some point, but I'd rather not. I guess you can't get any bears because there's too many targets. Yeah, he doesn't. Big Co don't want any points anymore. He's like, I don't, mm-hmm. don't, I don't give me any points. I don't How about Zach Moss? I said Moss on the last two, <laughs> two picks. All right. Um. There oh, goes, there, there goes Komet. Look, there we got to scroll way back up here to get him. There we go. Yep. It's good, strong, strong pick there. I think that was that his first Great tight end. Great pick. No, he's got T.J. Hawkinson, which he needed another one. S- solid. Can you go right, Chubb? Chubb. Uh, J. Wayne, confirm how many teams need a quarterback. Can can take a third. How many teams have two quarterbacks currently? Four. Four teams can take a quarterback. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we got there for, goes Dalton Schultz for projected Chubb. starters. We got Derek Carr, Russell Wilson, yeah. and and obviously Russell Wilson can lose at any time. They say Johnson. Derek Carr, you know, Derek Carr could lose it to uh, Rattler. Um, Derek Carr, Russell Wilson, Minshew's the starter for Carr now. Carr could lose it to Rattler? There well, I mean, not right now. I mean, he's paid, paid. Carr's got money coming in. Strong Keenan pick there. Mm-hmm. Geno, Sammy Keenan, Kamara, Diggs. It's pretty old. Evan Ingram, Cooper Cup, Devontae Adams. That's the oldest team in the league. Oh, for sure. Yeah, that was his, you know, he's got Lamar, and then he got he took Geno and Sam Darnold. Keenan Allen, Jerome Ford. Mm-hmm. All right, trying to win I thought Jerome your, Ford was hanging around for us there. That would have been nice. your, Where's your head at here? Looking at, obviously, Derek Carr, um, Ray Davis, Tyrone Tracy, Jaleel McLaughlin, looking at some running backs here. Where are we at, 14? Yeah, 15 is usually where I turn it on on the running back, just mm-hmm. chopping, chopping, chopping. But we did pick up the Pollard, so that, that relieves some tension on we have three. Yeah. And there's going to be some good ones to be te- to be had for sure. There's so many good ones running back-wise. But we obviously are in, mm. the, we're in the Braylon Adler- Allen sweepstakes. Fuck. Well, you're Who went? About arguing about. There goes Jacoby. Jacoby. Oh, Jerry Judy's a nice pick. Yeah. He sucks. Probably not as going to score as many points as Jacoby Myers, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Two up. Um, who you, How you think Vidal or Ray Davis here? Derek Carr, just looking at just that based on ADP. Um, Vidal, Ray Davis, Ray top Miller, Miller, probably Ray Davis, Tyron Tracy still out there, Ray Davis, Ray Davis over Tyron Tracy. Yeah, oh, all those guys over Kendry, Curtis Samuel, no Josh way. Palmer, Curtis Samuel, Josh Palmer. I could take Curtis Samuel or oh, we're Josh. There Palmer, goes Curtis, that's, there that's goes Curtis right in front of us. Right, we're, we up, Curtis Samuel's gonna be out there scoring points. Yeah, for like two Yeah, weeks. so is Jacoby Myers. Um, you know who doesn't get hurt? Pop Douglas, Mims, McMillan. Thoughts on any of those? I guys? don't have any Ray Davis. You into Ray Davis here? 
Uh, Isaiah I'll, likely I'll, all I'll, day. I'll wait for Ray Likely's Davis. there. I got a lot of likely. I ain't going to hurt my feelings. Not no no like interest it. in Kendry. Huh? Got 30 seconds. I could take JT Sanders here. You want to take Derek Carr? If you want to take Derek Carr, Let me Carr, see if any of these guys. How about the guys one. behind us, Jay? Yeah. Can, we got 30 they seconds. All got three. You don't they need all got three. They all got three, so yeah. not Carr here. Nope. Okay, good nope. good call. Yep. Nice strategy. Um, Wide receivers, Casey, give them to me. We don't have Pop to. Pop Douglas, Mim, Shahid, McMillan. Um, I could take McMillan. Nuke. I could take McMillan as, as like the the rookie that pops. Anybody else? Mm. Josh Palmer. Nah, wait. McMillan. I'll Ray Davis. McMillan. No, I'm Nuke. not taking Ray Davis. Likely. Okay. McMillan, that no rookie, likely, huh? rookie Man. that could pop up. I got a lot of likely because I got, got a, a lot ton of likely. of likely, dude. I got likely on every single team. And in FFPC, so we might just be sitting here again. Yeah, me and him, me and him have him in FFPC teams, and he just sits there. I got him on three FFPC teams, and he just sits there. Um, all right, so we. None of these guys take quarterback, so that makes next pick easy if we want it to be. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, those other guys could be like, well, I don't need any of these quarterbacks either. Yeah, I mean, we're getting in. Now we're into we're going into the 14th round. I had late round quarterbacks as Sam Darnold. I didn't know where J.J. McCarthy would go. And then Russ and Minshew. Mm-hmm. Well, that's so you you didn't even like Derek Carr. I didn't I didn't put him as a late round. Did Derek J.K. Carr's really go that like a long time ago? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah, just yeah. found him in the ADP. He's way down there. Tucker Craft and Kate Otten, two late round tight ends that I'm interested in, but we don't need to do anything crazy. Conklin, Parkinson, Taysom Hill, all all late round tight ends that I'm down to take. Yeah, I'm looking at you know, running Noah, backs then. Noah Fan, Hunter Henry. It's Ray Davis, Bucky, Vidal, um, Chandler. Huge mm-hmm. pick for me and Chandler. We gotta make sure we are we are we are we prioritizing Braylon Allen? No. Okay. Oh, we got we got Brees. Sure, got Brees. sure, we got Brees. Sure, we could take Braylon Allen and just and just chill. Where's Braylon Allen in our ADP, uh, Jason? He's but that's that's late. before he looked good in the preseason. Well, sure. Well, so it's, it's, where is he at in the ADP in the, for the what people are looking at? That's the in question. the mix. He's way down there. He's 17. in the mix. Okay. If you think, I mean, we can probably hopefully wait he's one top, more he's round. He's top six. Okay. Well, I mean, we could definitely wait. We if we miss him, we miss him. But like that's and it is what it is. Like, are you taking? I mean, you would take you would take Braylon Allen over Ray Davis when you have yeah oh for sure. Well, yes. I have Brees Hall. Yes. Yeah. Jaleel McLaughlin. Yes. No. 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 Braylon Allen. Braylon Allen. Braylon Allen or Tyrone. Tracy. I'm not taking Jaleel McLaughlin until the 16th, 17th round. Okay. So I mean, in there McLaughlin just goes off the board. See ya. Um. So I mean, there then, goes Bucky Vidal. There goes Likely. So Braylon Allen needs to be really close to the top of our list here. We can take Braylon case. Allen here if you really want to. It's not killing me, but I'm saying if you'll take him over Ray Davis, it ain't uh, there ain't many runner up. Braylon Allen's is up there at the top. Yeah, there's Ray Davis, Austin Eckler, I mean, Gus Edwards, Tyron. Exactly. So we could take if we take Bra- Braylon Allen's on there for us. We could take Braylon Allen. Um, taking Braylon Allen over the receivers that are left. Uh, it's basically Braylon Allen, or Derek Carr. Uh, there's no tight end that we have to have. There's no wide receiver that we have to have. Is Austin Eckler off the board? Nope. No, he's there. You want to take Austin Eckler? Maybe if we didn't already have three starters, right? All right, fair enough. I mean, we got Javante and Tony Pollard. So we only need we need two out of the three. We got Brees, Javante, Tony. So Tony's our backup, our third, and then we get Braylon Allen here, Braylon Allen here to back up Brees. Yeah, well, we can get Braylon Allen and potentially Estime. So we're just passing on Carr for Braylon Allen. If you want to take Carr, I'm not going to I'm not going to be upset about one it. One or the other, tell me. I don't care. Carr. You, which one? Well, we might not get Braylon Allen. I mean, uh, Minshew and Carr are probably the fucking same. I Ray clicked Davis. Braylon Allen. I clicked Braylon Allen with two seconds left, and it freaking paused on me and took Ray Davis. Mm, that's a huge You bummer. wanted him. That's a, that's a fucking dagger right there. Yeah. I don't. I would no shot. I would have taken Ray Davis. Obviously, <laughs> obviously, I had and I even and I had. Why was he in the queue up there? Well, I guess I. But I had his name clicked at the top. All Rookies. Right. Well, sixty second clock, live on air. You know, do got to do what you got to do. There goes Josh Palmer. We got Michael Wilson. We got Tyrone Tracy. Nuke just went likely. So um, we're going to be potentially hunting for Estime and Braylon Allen here coming up. Um, J.K. Dobbins was on my list as a late round guy, but that ain't happening apparently. You know, my late round wide receivers are Palmer and Wilson. They just went off Lockett, uh, Curtis Samuel. He's gone. Uh, Mooney, Wandell, Whittington. Those guys are all still available. Late round tight ends are Otten, Kraft, Conklin, Parkinson, Taysom Hill, Henry. 
And then late round quarterbacks are Russ, Minshew, uh, and then obviously Carr's still hanging around. So, you know, we're okay. I like that Rico Dowdle pick. That's just, just would have loved to take Rico Dowdle instead of Ray Davis. <laughs> All right, where you where, where's your head at here, big co? JT Sanders high on the list here for me on the next pick. Sorry, I was texting the commission. See if we could get Braylon Allen. <laughs> he gave us our nut his direct cell phone when we first started and said if you have any problems shoot me a call or call me or text me or something yeah so i, I mean took it. a picture of it so i can do that uh we got 12 picks in front of us so i'm gonna take a second to at this point he ain't well you know maybe it's worth a shot ah i don't want it at this point that was an error on our end well i mean i can text about it it is what it nobody is nobody else can so i'm not draft his balls bang i took i sent a text he paused the draft i don't like it big co it's a 60 second insider call. insider trading insider trading the first thing at the very top the very top of the of the league chat this league chat it says hi my name is bryce i'm the commissioner of this draft if you have any problems text me don't have a problem doing that i'm here to assist due to connectivity i literally clicked it with a one second left just like i've done every other pick so far mm. and if it you know if uh Mm. I'm just reading the rules. I'm just reading the email that came mm -hmm. through. Mm -hmm. All right. So here we are. We stopped. Give me your strategy from here on out, Big Co. What are you thinking? What's going through your mind? What's going through my mind? Uh, at this point, I'm hoping Derek Carr makes it back to us, and then I think we need to continue stacking receiver and any good tight end that pops up. JT Sanders. Take a shot. If he stinks, we let him go. What's the receivers that, that you want to stab on? Like I said, I, I you know, Mooney and Wandell, if you've been listening for a while, Whittington uh, has popped up and is, is a whole lot of fun. Tyler Lockett in this situation, um, you know, can't hurt. You know, we got, we got Hollywood, we got Rice who could be suspended, we got Josh Downs who's hurt, you know. Uh, Lockett could be a real solid late round ad here. I don't know that anybody really wants Tyler Lockett necessarily. Chuba should be uh, high on the list here of guys who we may or may not want to take, right? Shipley, Bigsby, Herbert, Chandler. Chandler, top of the list for me. All right, Big Co, you got him. To, you, you, got, <laughs> you got him. You got him, Big Co. Look at you. Shooting. Shoot. I mean, it's worth a shot. And the commission's given everybody a chance since a couple picks were made since the 60-second clock. Obviously, a couple picks were paid. He's letting everybody give a chance in order to see if anybody wanted Ray Davis. Somehow in the league, it's no trades, 60-second clock, because still held up the draft. <laughs> Michael Wilson, good pick. Tyrone Tracy, Palmer, Ray Davis, Austin Eckler, Troy Franklin, Rashid, Rashid Shahid, 14 uh, we're going 12 one. So he's got the turn two here. Be interested to see kind of what goes on. All right. Now, big co what is, where are we going here? What's the strategy? So we don't have to wrestle over the next few picks. Where, where are you at here? I th I'd like to take a swing at Rico Dowdle. Gone. Um, he's gone. No, he's not. Yes, he's he sitting is. right here on the board. He's gone. He's not he? gone. He's uh, right. Someone, the someone changed their pick. Then well, he, yeah, he went oh, after okay. you took okay. Ray Davis. Okay. Okay. All right, there, so there the guy's some about the okay, and he goes next because he got put back on the board. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so I'd like a chance at. Uh, I can't take any more estime. I'm overweight on estime. Let me look at wide receivers. Are you how are you feeling about? Uh, Javon Baker, Marvin Mims, Luke McCaffrey, Damn. Pop Doug, Brandon Cooks. I'd like to have Brandon Cooks on the team. How about Darnell Mooney so we can get some catches? I got so I, I know you hadn't been listening to all my rants for the late round guys here. He's just been locked into whatever the hell's going on over there. Nope. No partnership, just a solo sole proprietor going on. on Are you computer. working the queue that actually, I mean, I, I, I can't share a team. With obviously um, just messed up the, here, the queue here. Um, for three picks away like, from Derek Carr. Yeah. So I'm, I'm fine. And then with, if we get to Derek Carr, then we don't have to take him right until right. the next round. Cause those three still can't take a quarterback. Right. Correct. Um, did anybody else admit take a quarterback? No, 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 they didn't. Right. One Jay guy Wayne? did. Gardner no, Minshew. Gardner Minshew's Minshew don't. Okay, so there are still, what, two three. or three? Three guys that can take. Are we in that three? There Ooh. goes Chuba. That was a nice pick. That's a great pick. 
What you um, want? You, Casey, just tell me what you want to do, dude. I mean, we could take Mims. Okay. Pop okay. Douglas. I got a lot of Mims. I wouldn't mind dodging Mims here. Ty Chandler's high on the list for me. I could take Ty Chandler. I don't I don't really believe Lockett, it. Lockett, I think, is a great pick for us. I don't think Aaron Jones is, is we got We got Downs, the, who's injured. We got Hollywood, who's injured. We got... Um, Rasheed Rice, who could be sus- or uh, who could be suspended at any point, and Tyler Lockett's probably going to go out there and score points. And if we need to play him, we can. And maybe next year he's just not on the team. Mm-hmm. But you know, it's not fun. It's not sexy. He's old. It stinks. But I think <laughs> it's a good. I think it's a good pick for this team. Of just we got McMillan then, who's a rookie. Yeah, I don't hate that at all. So, I love I love Mooney and Wandale. They're my la- later round picks in every draft. Whittington is a good pick. Um, there goes late, Todd Chandler, dang it. Late round tight ends, Otten, Kraft, Conklin, Parkinson, Taysom Hill, um, is, Hunter is, Henry. Is Tyler Algier or Will Shipley on your list here? Shipley's on the list, but down the list. Algier's not? Not really. Currently. But okay. I mean, I'm not out on Algier by any means. All right, let's put, we got next pick. So if this guy doesn't take Derek Carr, we can get Derek Carr and after, on, the, on, the, on the wrap. Yeah, he took Luke McCaffrey. There goes Luke. So we can take Derek Carr next if we want to. Um, we get one player here. Uh, JT Sanders. I could take Kate Otten if you want to. Heavy on the list for me. I w- if, you know, Quentin Johnston. I'd could, pass on QJ versus some of these guys. Could pop and be a big, Jahan. Be a big play. Jahan Dotson. Of course. I mean, that was a bad spot for him to land, I think. short. I mean, they just paid two studs. They just have no receiver depth. Well, you know? but they got two of the best in the game. All right, 30 seconds. Um, yeah. I would, you know, JT Sanders would probably be my pick here, but... You know, Pop Douglas, did he just go off the board? Yeah. I'd take Mims. Um, Brandon Cooks. I could Darnell Cooks. Mooney. I'd rather have Lockett over Cooks. I'd rather have Cooks over Lockett. They um, just ain't got nobody. I mean, there ain't a lot of targets in Dallas outside of the big dog. Could take Estime. Cooks or Mooney. To take somebody. Cooks. I got down to five seconds. <laughs> I know that ain't who you wanted, but Such I think. Such a partnership. <laughs> who did you want? I would have taken Tyler it's a JT Lockett. JT Sanders. J- I mean, JT Sanders was that my was the pick. pick. Um, I would have taken Lockett over Brandon Cooks. If you're going to give me a veteran wide receiver, I'll take the guy who's been productive. Um, Brandon well, Cooks was Brandon not Cooks productive was not last productive. Year. Are you not productive me? last year. Look at his second I, half stats. He I, changed teams again. He did. He did. Yeah, yeah look just, at the second half stats. I guarantee your second half stats are way better. Than I don't Lockett. think it's a terrible pick. I'm it's not better than Lockett. About it. It's better than um, Lockett. Second just, half. I'd rather have Lockett. And JSN's coming up, and they got DK. And Maybe, Norfolk. but it's a whole different offense. It's an old, you know. This is true. This is true. Lockett could, I mean, it's a whole different offense, but he's got two two wide receivers he's really contending with. Brandon Cooks is. Brandon Cooks had the same situation he had last year. He's yeah, look at his, look at it back. Yeah, exactly. And they look at it. They caught fire with Dak down the stretch. Man, fire is a stretch. Bro, if we if wasn't sixty second o'clock right now, we're off. I'll, I'll yeah, go up. look at the second half stats on on Brandon Cook versus Tyler Lockett. We don't. I don't need a Tyler Lockett versus. I'm just no. Saying, yes, Ty, you do too. Because Tyler Lockett's just been productive his whole career and good. I guarantee you, his back half ain't as good as Cooks. We got That's a week bunch of 12, 17, yeah. 16, 5, 3, 10, 17, 16. Yeah, yeah 17, 16. That's a, I'm not well, 18, 18 16, doesn't count. 18 couple times. doesn't count. What? Couple. Yeah, a couple big plays. Had some, had some Handfuls. Good, had yeah, some what good did Tyler Lockett do? Lockett was hurt. Half. He was good when Lockett had a good season. I won a We could definitely get Lockett. JT Sanders again if you want to. I don't know if he makes it to us. Well, they were 35. Wide Lamar. receiver 35 and 34 was, was Lockett in. So about the same. 23. 10, 6, 9, 4, 15, 5, 16, 2. No way he had a good enough of back uh, to half dude, of his season. All, although he's got 5 and 2 and 6. Yeah, but, but a whole Cooks bunch had, of, a, had a 3 and a 5 and a 7. So Keep stop. going up there. He's looking for him. <laughs> keep going up the list looking for him. For what? I'm just saying is if you just like look at the last 6 or 7 games of the season. Dude, they're right here, bro. Well, I can't see your screen over there. But he just read Oh, up. I didn't say it. To, I didn't show him. That's fine. Proof. There we go. The, dude, one was wide receiver 35, Lockett, wide receiver 34. Well, Numbers don't yeah. lie. Yeah, of course. Full season. Lockett's better. But he could have closed. I'm saying he could have closed. Oh, Lockett. shit, on the clock. Is this Derek Carr? Yeah, I mean, I, I, sure. Right. That's I fine. Mean, just make it. Just go yeah. ahead and get that. Obviously, Derek Carr stinks, and Saints are the worst team in the NFL. Nah, but I mean, I don't mind. Derek Carr was fine. He does stink. <laughs> He's not great. But. He's not great. <laughs> All right, so we're maxed out on quarterbacks. We don't have to click that button anymore. It actually won't even let you click it. That's good stuff with the uh, software here. 
All right, so we've had, you know, we got Brandon Cooks. We got no, or, or then Noah Fant went, Aldrick Estime, Jerome Baker. I would have rather had Estime there than Cooks. Um, Javon Baker, Lobb, Quentin Johnston, Tucker Craft. There goes Derek Carr. Um, and now, you know, we got a long stretch before we're back. Mm-hmm. You know, Mooney, Wandell, Whittington, Otten, Kraft, JT Sanders, Parkinson. Those guys are all on the board here for me. Uh, and that, that's, you know, that, those are basically, I like Khalil Herbert. If anything happens to Roshan Johnson, um, Dotson's Herbert's probably been the good. Jahan Dotson. Don't forget about him. Sure. A good call. Um, but I mean, big you tell me who you want. Well, he's going to take whoever he wants anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if, if Casey will flag plant somebody, it's not necessarily, you can't give me seven names with 10 seconds left. I flag planted a guy on every single one of these picks. Javian J- Sanders would be the pick here for me. There well, yeah, right I need, I need your voice to change. But I mean, you, we got two it, people in my ears and the clock's ticking and I'm over here with all these guys on my list here. So I need you to actually tell me who you want. Like you tell me like you just gave me like four guys and the, the guy sure. here on my list. That what else do you want? All right, Bo. I think <laughs> don't keep saying the same thing to me while we're doing I th- this. I, I think, um, you know, there goes JT Sanders. There goes Kate Otten. There goes Tyler Algier. Um, you yeah. know, uh, you know, in the in the front half of the draft, you know, you can kind of figure some stuff out. You got you can kind of figure out things. You know, the back half of the draft is is probably where you know I struggle a bit more with the partnership because I have the guys that right. I like, and Bigco has the guys that he likes. He's usually more wrong than me on this part. <laughs> as we get to the later, part, I disagree. As we get to the later part Completely of things, disagree. Um, I mean, the proof's in the pudding. It's okay. It's definitely not. Um, the roofies are in the pudding, but. You know, it, it's you know, it gets it gets a little difficult. He's clicking the buttons, and you know, I don't. I'm too old to be fighting. Here's the t- here's the computer. You can click away. <laughs> I'm, I'm too old to be fighting about who the hell we're picking here in a hundred dollar league. I don't really care that much. Uh, but you know, and that that's that's what this comes down to. You're, sh- you're sharing a team. You're having a partnership. Tough uh, with a sixty we're, second clock. We got a sixty second clock. Very we're we're, we're having a we're having a good time. Um, you know, I don't know if Bitco's having a good time anymore, but. <laughs> <laughs> you looking at Mike Williams potentially? Um, Mike Williams, Darnell Mooney. I don't. I don't mind Mike Williams. Um, he's Lockett's he's still out there. Not been on the board, but I've, he's sitting there. Gabe Davis. Oof. Pass. Malik Washington. Pass. I'll take Malik Washington, I guess. But I mean, Demarcus it's, it's, Robinson. Demarcus in the pass. He's playing. Um, wait, maybe. Them boys said we're going to give Whittington plenty of opportunities. Where's Mims at? Um. You know, I don't, Mims isn't off the board, right? Yeah, he just went. I was Is, looking for him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you know, you get you get late in these drafts. Uh, you know, I, I've done a million of them. I, I kind of know where where my answers lie. Okay. In well, these I need situations. your answers. We got a handful of picks left, so I just need them. Um, we got we got time. We got seven or eight picks in front of us. Somebody's that's what, an auto that's what pick. I'm saying. Like I, I have my answers. I need to know what your answers are, which has been the question I've been asking every time we do this. And then you're locked in on doing what you're doing. Well, so the you Braylon don't give me the Allen answers really, that we could have the, the conversation the before. Q, <laughs> the Q thing really messed me up on the Braylon Allen thing. I was a little rocked and I was texting the commission, all that stuff. So I definitely took a round off there. So do you tell me where what you want to do, and then I can mix in with that. Well, this, he like, wants at Mooney this point, you shouldn't or even Mike have, Williams. You should, you should be looking at the Q. I don't here. need to look at the Q. I got I got who I like here. He wants no, Mooney or Mike Williams. Me. We're at the, we're got a couple picks left on a sixty second clock. You should definitely be looking at the Q. That's what, that's what we have a little miscommunication the last two picks. So this is the exact time to be helping out about the Q here. It's a good time to do that. Um, yeah, I do like. I Mike need you Williams. to just fucking tell me who you like, Mike, like Williams Mike Williams or Darno Mooney. He said it like eight times. I like Mooney. All right. I like I like Mike Williams. I don't know why we wouldn't like Mike Williams until he gets hurt, right? Sure. Keaton Mitchell, I don't Wandale. Keaton's been saying Wandale for a we, while. Keaton's on the pup. We could IR him. I think you can IR pup in FFPC. That's a good question. Michael Mayer, roster clogger in FFPC. You got the Javon Baker rookie. I did, who's your top pick that's still on the board here, Casey? Hmm. And it could be Depends a t- what position you want to. Right. Take. It could be a tight end or wide receiver, or it could be just it, maybe basically really like which one like. Will Shipley, Khalil, Will Shipley, Roshan, Keaton, like a, just a running back. Pass on, pass on Will Shipley. All right, so uh, for me, I think Mike Williams might be my top guy. I like Darnell Mooney's chances of catching a lot of balls, honestly. Michael Mayer, no. Dulcich, Wandell Mooney, Mike Williams, fine with that. Hunter Henry or Dulcich? 
It's got to be Hunter Henry, right? Sure. I'm fine with Hunter Henry. I mean, Dulcich just really could just come out and smash. Colby sure. Parkinson could come out and smash. Um, Whittington. Colby's still there? Got to be at the top of a list I here. I think Colby's gone, bro. Just I think Colby's gone. Whittington could be a guy. I mean, obviously, probably takes a real wide receiver injury in front of him, but. Colby Parkinson is definitely not gone. Is he? Oh, dude, he's down there. Okay, cool. Jahan Dotson, Tyler Lockett, Damian Pierce, Zeke, Mims, Gibson, Bigsby, Russell Wilson. All right. Back rolling here. You know, Whitt- Whittington at the at the top of a list for me. Okay. That's that's a guy who could take, like, uh, Mike Williams ain't going up in value. He could just be in your lineup. But, like, Whittington is a guy that could come out and just, you know, if he if he pushes Demarcus Robinson off the field, like, Cooper Cup was out there last year getting targets down the stretch, and Demarcus Robinson was doing work. Obviously, we know what Puka was doing. So, Demarcus Robinson was doing work. If Whittington can come in there, uh, obviously, in week first couple weeks, I don't expect him to just make the veteran Demarcus Robinson who was out there catching live bullets last year put him straight on the bench. But if Puka's slow or re-aggravates something or something's wrong, you know, like Whittington could really boom in value. Demarcus Robinson's not. He's like 28, 29. He ain't going to boom in value. Yeah, he'll be on the uh, Mike Williams list. ain't going to boom in value. Right. Um, so Jordan Whittington is a guy that is – definitely grabbable you don't want to have like a whole bunch of those guys in ffpc but we don't have too many so far we got some you know the brandon cooks, well 18 like, through 20 can all be guys that you can cut exactly well that too but like brandon cooks is a pick like he's not somebody that's going to boom in value but he could be a player or you you could cut him and you're not going to hurt anything dynasty wise um i could take Whittington if you want. mike there? williams is still out there I like that jordan mason pick yeah that's a good pick that was a good pick um, A.T. Perry, Wandell Mooney, all good picks right here. Right. Sean. Yeah, I mean, so we got two picks and then us. Whittington, Mike Williams, Mooney. I don't think you can go wrong. Wandell, I don't think we can go wrong here with a couple good receivers. There's Hunter Henry. We don't have a backup tight end yet. Hunter Henry, Dulcich, Parkinson. So we got a couple outs there at the Jahan. backup tight end. Jahan's gone. Did he? Yeah, uh, 17-2. Tyler Coughlin is third on the list if he's up there for you. I mean, I well, you could take tight ends from here on out if you want to do. Um, there's really not a whole lot of running backs that I'm terribly interested in. Uh, Roshan. Like that Michael Mayer pick. Did you, did you say Roshan uh, somebody? I you did. did. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. He's up. He's up. We're next. So Tyler's, Tyler Conklin's on top of the list. I would probably lean towards Hunter Henry over Conklin, but he's farther down the list. If but he's still on the first page as far, far as what mm-hmm. people are seeing. Um, we're on the clock. You want Whittington over like a Mike Williams, which is totally fine with me. We got three wide receivers on the bench as if, if we got three wide receivers starting and two in our flex. So we got three wide receivers on the bench and uh, Tony Pollard on the bench and a backup quarterback on the bench. Uh, depth wise, I think we're sitting pretty decent. This guy just typed into the thing that his kid filled on the stairs and he picked Jatavion Sanders. I'm not sure what he's trying to tell us there. The draft might pause here in a second. I don't know if he's saying. Man, people say anything to get this clock yeah. to stop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So we're, well, you want Whittington or, or Mike Williams? You want I Whittington? Mean, I, 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 Whittington's fun. I'll take a shot at Whittington. I'll okay. take, you know, Whittington. We're taking Whittington. I'll take any. I'll take, we could take tight ends from here on out. I could take Conklin, Parkinson. Who you want, Dulcich. Who, if you want tight ends, if you want to take a break, I think, let's see where he's on the list. It would be really nice. Darnold Mooney's up there at the top. But Mike Williams at the top last time made it all the way back around, so nobody likes him. Yeah, I mean, Mooney and Mooney and, and Wandell are my two picks. Mike Williams is I'm fine with. And then, like I said, the, the same couple of tight ends I've been saying, I'm fine with any of those guys to end this, this draft with. Roshan to get us another running back that, that could do something. Uh, is interesting. I don't think there's really too many other running backs on the board yet, right? No, running back. Why? I mean, you could. I don't. I, again, I don't know about the Dylan IR. Lob, somebody take he gone. Yeah, yeah he's he, gone. he was going like two rounds. Estime ago. still there? He Estime's way gone. gone. Roshan Herbert. I don't know if Keaton Mitchell's. I. I don't know if you can IR the pup. I think I mean, you I'm, can. I don't know. It just depends on the settings. I mean, I've I've been trying to scoop up as much Keaton Mitchell as I can in in trades. Yeah, I mean, I'm totally fine taking Keaton Mitchell and putting him on the IR. That if, he, if he can go on IR, I mean, I'll take a shot on Traylon Burks. 
Um, yeah, we could do that. I could definitely uh, check and see. We should probably take a tight end. Maybe two of them. Yeah, that's what I was saying. We, we only have one. If we took three on the way out, I'd be Jay fine. Wayne's got the clock up there. I can check and see on my, one of my other teams real quick and see if i got a pup guy that can go on the IR real quick. I was trying to find. Where do you find these rules at? I can just find a guy real quick on the pup, I'm sure. That's one team. There goes Chig. That's a good pick. Fun stab. Ah, Gabe Davis. Two teams, no pup guys. Let's see. Third team. Who you got? We got a pup guy over here. I'll find it. Y'all figure out who to pick. All right, I mean, I, you know, I, in, in a lot of leagues I'm in, you can't, like, on sleeper and shit, you can IR the pup guys, mm-hmm. but who knows? Well, we could look at other teams. Um, Jay Wayne, if you're having trouble there, you could flip through the Triflex and see if somebody has Keaton Mitchell IR'd, you know, in the pup. You could go league tab. You could go league rosters in our Triflex team. You could do league rosters, and that way you could find him and see what team he's on and then look at his team pay, player page or team page and see what's up. All right, big dog, Casey. We got Mike Williams or Darnell or Wandale at the top. So we got Mike Williams, Darnell Mooney, Wandale Robinson as our wide receivers we're looking at. And then we got four tight ends we've been talking about, Hunter Henry, Dulcich, Parkinson, Conklin. Obviously, Parkinson's weight on the list. Take Cam Akers. Yeah. That's a stab. That's a that's a fun stab. Which tight end you want to watch? Can can we can we? It's going to be. It goes all the way out and comes back. So it's like if you want Mike Williams or Mooney, we should probably take him. Keaton Mitchell right here in front of us. No way. Mm. <sighs> um. Jay Wayne was looking that up for us too. He was going to have it before the sixty seconds was up. Uh, I don't even see anybody listed on the pup. You want to take Dulcich? I mean, I'll take Tyler Conklin. Okay. I'm, I'm go, I think a Rod is going to be getting the ball out quick. We got Brees Hall, little Jets offense stack. Oh, yeah, Keaton Mitchell says IR. Dang. Should have taken Keaton Mitchell on the last pick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it doesn't say IR in the draft room. That's crazy. Uh, it just says Pup in the, in the uh, draft room. Maybe it says IR because he's in that dude's IR, and it, it changed it. You, go, you want Tyler Conklin? That's, I'm talking about taking Conklin here, yeah. That'll Conklin, give us a, Parkinson. Well, Col- Colby's like ten more picks down. Yeah, right. Taysom in, Hill. in the in the tight end, end tab. We not can even end, we uh, can end this draft with Conklin, Parkinson, or Conklin, Taysom Hill, Parkinson. Yeah, we got two more picks, and we could definitely take all tight ends if you want to. Mooney and Wandell are still hanging around. And Mike Williams, right? And Mike Williams, correct. All right, so we're wrapping this thing up. Got yep. a little ornery yep. there in the middle. Uh, so it's to be expected. <laughs> Happens. There goes Mooney. There goes Mooney. That's all right. I got a lot of Mooney. Got a lot of Mooney. Got a lot of Wandell. Not upset about it. Got but a little ornery, he says. Roshan's still out there? Oh, sure. But Khalil Bro- went. Did he? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, Herbert went already. Um, I think Swift's about to be good if he can stay healthy. I, think I do, too. Um. Justice Hill's kind of interesting. Cam Akers kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. I mean, Justice Hill is really the second guy up right now for mm-hmm. Baltimore. Sure. He's been there for a while. All right, so we got about 10 picks before we get back here. Taysom Hill? Taysom Hill, great pick. Somebody take him? No. Oh, well, yeah. That's why I said Taysom. Yeah. Taysom, Hunter Henry, Jalen Highlight's a good pick right here. Where's Taysom Hill at? Taysom Hill is not on my list. He must have been taken. Or he's way down here? I don't see him. He must be gone. Is he gone? He's got to be. When do we miss him? I don't think so. Maybe he's not listed as a tight end in there? Oh, maybe he's not listed as a tight end. If he's, he's probably a quarterback. Uh, he's probably a quarterback, and you can't even check him out. Oh, that's so terrible. He probably has a tight end slash quarterback moniker, and he's gone, and he's off the list because of that. Mm. I'm telling you, man, that software, they got a solid at FFPC. Taysom Hill's got to be the first person we first er- erase that from the strike that from the docket. <laughs> <laughs> what are we striking? I, I missed it. What so that people don't see this and put them on their queue. But the, 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 first, the first guy to pick up. Oh, oh, right. Strike it. Strike it so they don't see this video for waivers. <laughs> That's good. That's classic. All right. All right. Uh, Still a- A.T. Perry. 
Still sure. Around. Sure. You know I like A.T. Perry, but um, man, catches right. touchdowns. That's all he does is catch touchdowns. Do, I mean, is Dulcich still hanging around? What a shot Dulcich could be. Yeah, I think we got to take another tight end here. I'll take all. Let's just take three. Hunter Henry. Hunter Henry. Yeah. It's, get such fun late round guys here. Yeah. People are taking some some rookie wide receivers. There goes Hunter Henry. Is Javon Baker off the board? Uh, Got to be. I think he was on my list. I don't think he. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. gone. Yeah, I had him on the queue. There goes Hunter Henry. Jared yeah. Wiley. That's a wasted pick. Um, Gusecki. Tight ends are Jalen Tolbert. Here. That's a good pick. Jalen Tolbert is a good pick. Mike Williams, finally. I was like, he might make it back to us. He got this close. He got two picks away. Grundo. All right, bud. We're about to be on the clock. Wandale. Dulcich or Parkinson? Dulcich is at the top. We could take them both. We could take Dulcich first. Wandale's gone. Yeah, um, Wando went with right next to Mooney. We're up next. Damn, how can, we can't take Taysom Hill for real. He gone. We can't we can't find him. A T Perry. I'm fine with just taking two tight ends here. Let's let's go. Dulcich and then Parkinson. We'll get uh, we'll get a week one to see which one really pot if, if if one of them stands out. You know, don't really like it. Nobody draft Taysom Hill. Is that what the deal is here? Is Alec, Alexander Madison on the list? He's, I, don't, I don't hate that. He's the only running back out there that really has that needs to be. Pay, I don't know what's going on with Clyde Edwards Hilaire. He's still out there. Carson Steele's probably still out there. Trey Sermon. Trey picked. Sermon. That's a nice pick. Adam Thielen. Yeah. That's not a terrible stab right there. Traylon Burks on the last pick. Which one of these tight ends we taking before we get on the bottom here? You want to take? What if we just took Greg Dorch as our last pick? I'm fine with that. <laughs> it's week one, baby. It's something, it's, something's going to pop out. Um, if you if you select tight ends by points projected, Jawan Johnson jumps to the top, but I got so many Jawan Johnsons right now, we could just let him hang out. He's been hurt. Probably going to start slow. Zach Ertz. I can't. Are we Dulcich? Dulcich at the top of the tight end list. Let's take Dulcich. All right. So we got one more pick after this. We took Dulcich. Um, it's either Parkinson um, or Adam Thielen or Traylon Burks. All right. Alan, the, in the queue, it's those guys. Or Greg Dorch. I don't have Dorch on the queue. I got to get Dorch on the queue. I thought I clicked him. Is he gone? Somebody no, take he's, Dorch. No, he's there. I thought I clicked him earlier because I knew you wanted to talk about him. There's Dorch on the queue. Dorch, Madison, Burks, A.T. Perry, Parkinson. DJ Chark is on the queue from where I was clicking, guys. Every, I just was clicking everybody from the top. Uh, Demarcus Robinson. We're not taking DJ Chark, right? He's off the list? Yeah, I'm good okay. on Chark. Uh, Demarcus Robinson. We do have Whittington, so we could have both Rams third receiver. See what happens week one. Um, I'm down to take Parkinson. Is there any other tight ends we need to talk about, or they just all got snapped up? Jawan Johnson, I'm, he, I, I don't think he's going to do much week one. He's been there hurt. There goes Madison. There goes Madison. Steele. Yeah. Um, Zach Ertz is a really good call out if for week one, for see what's going to happen. Adam Thielen, Cam Akers. Can he take it? Yeah. Take what? Take the job. I mean, he took the. RB2 job, I think. Yeah. So Thielen, Burks, Mingo, Elijah Moore, Greg Dorch, or Parkinson. What did you have in there? A couple guys in a row. Calvin Austin, Cade Stouffer. Boys, they're probably on all those teams might be on auto pick or just popping them off quick. Last picks here. All right. So you, it, am I taking Demarcus Robinson off the list? Yeah. Okay. Colby Parkinson, A.T. Perry stays on or he's off? Colby Parkinson's on. A.T. Perry's fine. Traylon Burks, Dorch. So I think Thielen's a really probably a smart pick. I think Parkinson is a really good pick. For Adam. Being tight end. Dorch could catch plenty of balls week one. I'm down with Parkinson. Let's take this. Let's wrap up with three tight ends. We'll see if we can get anything out of any of them week one. Cam Akers. Week two. Off the board. Week three. You know, see see what happens. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll probably roster churn. Oh, you got to. If you're not roster churning, somebody three, off you know, the bottom. Whittington might get cut. Conklin might get Conklin ain't getting cut. Conklin's about a two-word. <laughs> Conklin ain't getting cut. 
Dulcich might, though. He might have a hamstring week one. All right, um, we're up. There goes Traylon. Let's take Parkinson. Three or four of those guys just went in a, almost in a row that was on the last little bit of our queue there. So that was interesting and cool to see. So we're taking Parkinson with our last pick? Yeah. Okay, Parkinson's done. And we got a bunch of tight ends on the way out of the door. Really wish we could have taken Taysom Hill. I don't understand how they're going to cock block us from taking Taysom Hill. Why you can put him in your quarterback. Yeah, why has he got a quarterback thing, you know? Sean Payton. Yeah. They paid him so much money, they just yeah. like, we got to give him a quarterback. That's... All right. Draft's wrapped up for us. Whew. Let's give you a, a quick recap of, you know, what, what do you like, what do you not like? All right, so we end up with Jamar Chase, Brees Hall, Dalton Kincaid, Jared Goff as our starting quarterback, Tank Dell and Rashi Rice, Will Levis, Christian Kirk, Javante Williams, Hollywood Brown, Tony Pollard, Josh Downs, Jalen McMillan, Braylon Allen, thanks to Big Coast Handiwork, <laughs> Brandon Cooks, Derek Carr, Jordan Whittington, Tyler Conklin, Greg Dorch, or uh, Greg uh, Dolcich, and then Colby Parkins, three tight ends to round this thing out. Elijah Mitchell goes, Justice Hill goes, it's a good pick, DJ. Then Will Disley, n- another great pick right there. Juwan Johnson. Taysom Hill, how do you? Oh, because he's a fucking quarterback. That's why they got, he's a red goddamn box. Do what now? Taysom Hill went as the last, second to last pick. He's a red box. He, oh, we couldn't see him because we had three. Right. When we, by the time we started looking for him. Mm-hmm. No, no, we took Carr so late. He uh, look, we, we were, I, I brought up Taysom we Hill way after that. Really? After yeah. even after Carr, Dang. oh yeah, okay. So you know, I mean, we got there's there's some good teams here. I like our team, of course. Just drafted it because so you like everybody. Yeah, I'm team. sure off the rip, there's probably a couple teams that look better than ours. Definitely. I mean, you start looking at quarterbacks and stuff like that. But I think we got some good solid receiver depth, and we got Brees Hall, and we got Dalton Kincaid. So that's well, team two here has got Jalen Hurts, Puka. Trey McBride, Brandon Ayuk, ETN, Josh Jacobs. So their second quarterback is Bryce Young. And then their third is obviously Taysom Hill. They just took Deontay Johnson, Calvin Ridley, Chase Brown, Connor, Wicks, Schultz, Raheed Shaheed, Dowdle, Bigsby, Jahan Dotson, Jalen Hyatt, Tolbert, and Hill. That's a, that's a, I like that squad. I like team two. Allen and Lawrence, Drake London, A-Chan, DK Metcalf, Brian Thomas, Keon, George Kittle, Chris Godwin, Sinnott, Aaron Jones, Sutton, Moss, Franklin, Minshew, Gibson, Pierce, Cowing, Hunter, Clyde Edwards. Nice start. Didn't love the the end. The Lamar Jackson guy went Lamar, Gibbs, Christian McCaffrey, Mark Andrews, Pickens, Devontae Adams, Cooper Cup, Evan Ingram, Stephon Diggs, Alvin Kamara, Geno Smith, Sam Darnold, Keenan Allen, Austin Eckler, Gus Edwards, net age 33. Marvin Mims, Tyler Lockett, Roshan, Jared Wiley, and Jawan Johnson. So that's a pretty old team, uh, team four there, but got some points. So he's going to he's gonna be in the running for it. Uh, team five, C.J. Stroud, Garrett Wilson, Brock Purdy, Nico Zay, Debo Reed. Nice, uh, nice grouping there. Mike Evans, then Ramondre. Let's see how he builds out the uh, running back room. Stafford's is two. Or Stafford's is three. Ramondre, Warren, Ford, Ray Davis, Chuba, Zeke, Shipley, the running back room. So I don't hate that build. No, he got a really, really good uh, Dallas Goddard pick there. Obviously, you're waiting on Jalen Warren to get healthy, but Ramondre and Jalen going to be a big – if Jerome Ford's startable for this guy, you know, Ray Davis hits, he's got got wide receivers. See, like – a team like that, he's got his two quarterbacks, and then he stacks wide receivers, so he fills his flexes, you know. He's and then obviously, you know, we're talking dynasty, so you skip over Mike Evans, but Mike Evans this year is going to help a ton. But like the Patrick Mahomes team, for instance, he's looking at he's you know, you got T.J. Hawkinson, so he's hurt. He fills it back in with Cole Komet, but that's nice. But like his flexes could be Leggett and Jalen Polk, you know, because he's yeah. got his three wide receivers are A.J. Brown, Neighbors, and D.J. Moore. That's sick. He's got a Drake May who's not starting right now, so your second quarterback, and then it goes down to Russell Wilson, um, you know. But it, I just his flexes are going to be suspect. But he's got young guys, and if anybody pops out, he's solid. But if he, but so far his starting lineup's not going to be fantastic to get going. He's got some studs. When you got that, and if there's no third round reversal, those first couple teams definitely that early third round 
Mm. Jalen Hurts, Puka, Trey yeah. McBride guys got it, and then Trey, Travis Etienne, Josh Jacobs back to back. It was really nice. It was nice, yeah, for sure. Um, That's a good, good squad there. And then and Deontay Johnson, Calvin Ridley back to back. You know, uh, just a, I really like Team Two. Team uh, Seven and Six both started with uh, wide receivers. Uh, then Team Six got Herbert and Dak back to back, and then Smith and Higgins. So so nice yeah. receiving core. Nice quarterbacks, nice three receivers. Grabbed his third um, with Watson. quarterback with Deshaun Watson. Nice back-to-back stabs. This is a good way to approach the tight end. Got Ferguson, uh, Joku. Yeah, I like that. Jamison Williams, good stab on your like fifth wide receiver there. Fourth wide receiver. Didn't um, play Didn't play the name game at running back, but, man, I, I mean, James Cook is going to oh yeah, score he's points. Solid. This is, this is a, a good team. That's exactly how I'd build Yeah, and Brian Robinson, Singletary in that 11-12 in that, uh, was really nice. And then comes back Judy and Palmer, two guys that are going to be on the field every snap. Um, Chandler, Algier, Jordan Mason, those are really, really fun three running backs in a row. And then Mooney, Mike Williams, Chark, again, wide receivers that are going to be on the field. And – is it you know DJ Chark, Josh Palmer from the same team, and that's uh, stacking up with his quarterback with Justin Herbert. Um, so a really really nice build right here by Yonker. Yeah, I feel like he's been in our mocks before, right? If I'm making that uh, up, I'm not sure. Um, Vandalay got your heart a couple times. What does he? What did he end up with? Uh, I was really hoping that Justin Jefferson would make it to us at nine. He got snapped up at seven. There's the uh, there's a Tua in the fourth. Just doesn't feel great, but he did get paid. He's in Miami system. Yeah, Tua getting paid and staying there, it it, it balances and equalizes it out. Where I don't feel terrible about it at all. Um, yeah, you got Saquon, Lad, Bo, Bo Nix. So that's his third. Amari Cooper, Jalen Wright, Najee. He did. I like ninth round Jalen is is spicy, but then he comes back with twelfth round Raheem Mostert. Yeah. So uh, you got two of the three running backs for the uh, for the one of the most productive backfields in the league. That's pretty solid. Don't like the tight end room, but well, he started with Sam Laporta's at the top, uh, so that makes oh, it yeah. a little better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, All right. All right. All Retracted. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, a lot of lot of fun teams here. Um, Burrow and Love to start off. Olave Taylor, Kenneth Walker, Kyron. So he he cleaned up there. Addison. Christian Watson receiver room is going to be a little light. Um, fields on the tenth was it was it pays off? It pays off. Um, you know, tight end room has got some shots that could that could really turn in turn a profit. Uh, and then the last two guys here, Uncle Wayne started out with a strong team, and then I, I just I feel like the wheels fell off a little bit here for him for kind of what was going on. Yeah, it came back around though. Like, kind of had some weird middle round picks with the Mixon and the Rodgers. And Zamir's not old, but you know, I don't know how long he's going to be the guy, per se. Romeo and then J.K. Dobbins, Vidal. You know, J.K. Dobbins is another weird one early, and then Vidal, McLaughlin, Baker, Lobb, Washington, Eric All, Stover, all you know, got back on track to where he was trending. Got those Youngs earlier. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so you know, I, well, after he took Aaron Rodgers, that's when he—he's the guy that said, "Is there three quarterback max?" So you obviously taking McCarthy and Penix. He wasn't playing for Week One to begin with, and then you know, I guess he was trying to just see what he could do with Aaron Rodgers, and he was going to stack up, and then he realized he couldn't get another quarterback. So that was definitely yeah. And then Team Eleven's uh, yeah. super young to start. He's got Caleb, Bijan, Brock, Waddle, Worthy, Smith, and Jigba, and I then like he goes that. Kirk Cousins, Benson. Spears, A.D. Mitchell, Ricky Pearsall. So he's really, really young and then kind of got that old quarterback there with mm-hmm. Cousins. So I don't really love that play in there. And then he goes DJ. Then he goes Bucky, Likely, Estime, Quentin Johnston, Chig, Herbert, Madison, Cam. Um, so 50-50 on that team. I like the I like where you were, your head's at in the beginning and then kind of uh, felt like got away from a little bit of you know, you took some shots where I, I don't think you needed to be on the older side of things. I mean, if you could look at our teams and say, I don't think you should be here or there. I'm oh, just, yeah. You know, I'm, I just got a microphone in front of me. so Right. Probably <laughs> probably a couple of picks that uh, that you could take back off our team. Um, I do like, I mean, I really like having Brees Hall on the team, though. It When you when you start out with two picks with no quarterback, it, it changes things. But Jamar Chase, Brees Hall, I mean, Dalton Kincaid in, is, you know, 
is what it is, man. He was a third tight end off the board. All but right, where, what's 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 your what's the regret here for you? Well, I, I like the Tank Dell Rasheed Rice in the fifth and the sixth. We talked about potentially looking at, at being able to find two good wide receiver values. I think we did that. Um, I, 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 I guess I'm glad we took golf. It didn't feel good when we did it. Um, you know, I think the team could have looked a little bit more, you know, looked a little fancier if there was another yellow box right there before Tank Dell. You know, could have put Nico or Devonta Smith or somebody there, or any Ayuk, anybody. Um, but a golf just settles it down, I think. Um uh, we, you know, you take the home run cut on Levis. There is, I think, Bo Nix would have been more fun to us, a little bit more, maybe a little better floor, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but Will Levis, I think, I think he's going to run around. I think the rushing is not being talked about. I, obviously, he's going to have the three interception games, and it's going to suck. But like you said, in week four, we're going to be like, man, Levis sucks, or either. Levis yeah. is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Christian Kirk, Javante Williams, Hollywood Brown, I, and. I didn't see the Tony Pollard thing coming. It, you know, a 60 second clock gets you, but that when we, we were not talking about Tony Pollard in that area because we didn't think he'd be there. So it just wasn't something that you and I even talked about. And then you get under 10 seconds and you just click a guy that's, that is in the current conversation now. Uh, you know, you mentioned Romeo Dubs and it's just like, I was, I was having trouble. I don't know who else you were talking about in that spot, but, I was having trouble taking Romeo Dubs and Dubs in the eleventh round, and then I, I I just went to Pollard. I don't know if Pollard was the regret. I definitely don't regret taking Christian Kirk, Javante Williams, Hollywood Brown. You got any regrets through that stretch? Uh yeah, I would. I'd sub either either uh, Javante or Hollywood out to have Stafford to just sure up the third. Where did Stafford go? Let's see. He went. Uh, yeah, Stafford. Eight. Stafford could have gone into either. Yeah, okay. That's my biggest regret. I just not have having Levis, which I'm fine stabbing on, and then not having the third quarterback that you know can anchor you down and be good. And I think you know Carr's fine, and I think Carr in this different offense can be chance. fine. He's and, got a and he had he had a you know had an okay back half of the year. Started off a little shaky, um, but Carr had an okay back half of the year, and and you know just kind of where we were at with with the team that we have. I I just don't like being a little shaky where we could have you know okay so when we i i don't regret taking hollywood brown over stafford um because that's what we would have had to do there um i definitely don't regret taking St hollywood over stafford but i guess when it came but when the things pushed around i think i regret taking josh downs over sam darnold sam darnold i think is going to score plenty of fantasy points is sam darnold going to throw a pick six and it really pisses the vikings off and the vikings fans off and create a spot where they don't win the game yes did every Vikings quarterback that took snaps last year outside of that one quarterback that got hurt in the first quarter was that Jaron Hall? Every Vikings mm -hmm. quarterback produced fantasy points last year. And obviously that's a blanket statement. And Kirk Cousins was there for half the year. And sure, he was producing. But like Josh Dobbs left for dead. Nick Mullins, dude, the only reason you know Nick Mullins' name is because he was on the Niners for a little bit, right? So I think I just feel like that, you know, I, I should have – Casey said it was fine. It was just there was a lot of names to look at. And there's a lot of pressure having the button over here. And I definitely should have. If, if you were fine taking Sam Donald there, I should have said, I want to, if you want Sam, I want to take Sam. And that should have been the conversation. And there's like Jill McMillan, the next round is, I love that pick. I like, guess to I me, I don't, I don't, I don't see all that much difference between Sam Donald and Derek Carr five rounds later. Well, that later. that's that's the point is like yeah, Matt Stafford in the tenth or Derek Carr in the sixteenth. I think the value is obvious. Is Derek Carr in the sixteenth sounds great because we got on the end there and we knew we had we played with it a minute and then it did we did take a chance. It went out and you know um, well no Gar Gardner Minshew went ahead of Derek Carr so that helped us. Mm -hmm. um, but like I you know I like having Jalen McMillan on the team and a three start three wide receiver team uh, like the Brandon Cooks two picks later like Brandon Cooks boom. I'm I I have no problem putting him in the starting lineup in a in a five, you know, three wide receivers and two more flexes. Like you got to start a bunch of players. I feel like he might be in the first two weeks. Be like, well, that's a really good player that we could put in there. And then, but Jalen Millen could freaking make a couple big plays. And then as a rookie, now you're talking. Well, you know, Mike Evans is old, and yeah. Chris Godwin might not get another contract. And even if he does, he's already 28. You know, McMillan could be that dynasty darling in no time. He already kind of is. And you've been, if McMillan is that guy, 
dude, he helps our team so much. Mm -hmm. And Josh Downs, they were everybody saying like Josh Downs was catching more balls in practice before he got hurt than um, the number one wide receiver for the Colts. You know, so Josh Downs, I don't regret having Josh Downs on the team. Just in that area, I think that I, 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 I really should have probably said, hey, let's take Sam Darnold a little harder. And I got a little messed up, obviously, with the Braylon Allen thing. So if I, I upset you there in the Brandon Cooks pick, I don't remember who you said you would have rather have, but I think you might have gave me three players over Brandon Cooks. So that's my bad. I definitely wasn't trying to – I did text you on the waiver. I, I don't know if I texted you Brandon Cooks, but I might have said I'm, I think I said something before the draft started that I liked 17th round Brandon Cooks. And that yeah, that was fifteenth round, so that's my bad. I told you that I like seventeenth round Brandon Cooks, and in the fire of a sixty second pick clock, maybe Brandon Cooks stays there another round or two. Maybe because he's old, and this is dynasty, and people are starting to pick rookies and backup running backs, and you know, yada yada yada. Yeah. I, I, you wouldn't have convinced me to take Sam Darnold in the twelfth round. Okay, well, it would ten seconds to go. You don't even have time to argue like that, so that's yeah. good. Uh, um, in the twelfth round there, because you did say I'll take Sam later, and that's what got me off of it. Because we don't have a lot. Yeah, of time. I don't. I got no. There's no way I'm taking Sam Darnold in the twelfth round. Mm-hmm. Which is fine. So you know, that, and that's just like Casey said when we were right. Well, basically when we were in the middle of all that, the first ten, the first eight or ten rounds, like you can't really go wrong. You pick a guy, you pick a, this guy, you like this guy. You know, once you get into the fire. You get down here in 13, 14, 15, you know, like he's like, there's no chance I'm taking Sam Darnold in 12th because he likes guys like Josh Downs and Jalen McMillan. And well, these. that's just a reach on Sam. But that's one that's a one year starter. And then we don't know what the hell's going on. Good point. Right? Josh Downs could come know, in and just, be a, a beast. I'll just I'll, I'll roll the dice on on that and, and see what what happens. Mm-hmm. Um, so. And, you know, who knows? Maybe our team is good enough. We miss the playoffs and we can go win the 1-1 or something. You know, we get in the – maybe maybe we're playing for the championship belt here and we can win some money or maybe we suck and we can go into the draft with, uh, you know, all of our picks because we didn't make any trades and maybe we can get first, you know, an early pick and we have an early one and an early two and an early three and do some damage, make some trades. Josh Downs does look good if he's healthy and I think I think we could see some action. I'm glad we decided to take Braylon Allen where we did. I think that shore some things up behind Javante and Tony Pollard. Well, we have no more running back, so. Yeah. All right, well, let's get out of here. It's been a long night. Fun draft. We had our ups and downs. Uh, had some squabbles to be uh, expected here, but it's still a lot of fun. Looking forward to this league and many more in the future. We're going to do 250s. We're going to do 500s. Maybe something a little higher dollar in the off season. Um, so be sure to keep following along if you missed this one we'll have some other opportunities for you in the off season there'll be longer clocks not going to do probably any more 60 second clocks um, just this, this was a lot of fun and, a, and an opportunity to to have some fun with some listeners um, so we did it uh, and we're we're excited about the league fun to get one more draft in for for dynasty uh, about to get some redraft drafts in tomorrow so appreciate you guys tuning in be sure to uh, come and get it locked and loaded for the five dollar holiday you got the free discord Appreciate you guys, and we'll catch you next time. Enjoyed it. Peace.